All right, we are live. We're live and in the building. Let's go. Nine Club Live. This is the third one we've done. Yeah. P Rod is. Uh, oh, P- yeah. No, sorry, no. sorry. P Rod uh, told him to kick Ross. <laughs> <laughs> I Damn. sat down. I thought P Rod was here. I, I looked like, just I like, like him. Whoa, P Rod is that? <laughs> said, no, no, it's Kelly, man. Damn it. Uh, sorry, guys. Kelly I'm is back. back. I'm back. That's cool. Yeah, Happy welcome. You. Welcome back, man. Hey, yeah, thank you. Dude. Welcome back. Bro. I think you missed you guys. But it looked like you had a good time without me. Paul's always a good guy to have in. So It was great, man. We had a good conversation with P Rod. Um, dude, he broke down some some sponsorship ad money that he did he for did. McRib. <laughs> I love to hear that. People were, yeah, man, I love that shit. Uh, what's going on, chat? Everybody good in the world of YouTube and Twitch? How are y'all doing today? How are we doing? We are double dipping, man. We always double dip, you know what I'm saying? We try to get the most out of it. <laughs> Just a little bit. At most out of our stream, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this episode, man, we got a lot of stuff to talk about. A lot's been dropping so far. The FA bar and store opened up in Seoul, uh, Seoul South Korea. Ooh, yeah. We got uh, Cater officially on Violet. Hmm. Finally announced it. Finally. Yeah. We kind of knew we something. Already knew that. Something was something yeah. going on over there. Uh, Brian Anderson, Interpol, uh, Interpol Girl Skateboards. Love little that. collab. Yep. 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 Uh, John Shanahan releasing some DC shoes. His own shoes. Model. Damn. It looks, pr- I personally, I'm pretty hyped. You like it? I see some uh, some old school inspiration, yes. obviously taken from it, but mm-hmm. yeah. I'm not mad at it. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking about old school inspiration, Palace and Drawers, we'll be talking about that. They do a little collab right now. Palace is just um, running it right I now, know, bro. right? Bringing back all the little old, like, you know, brands. Aesthetics. And, yeah. yeah. Drawers. I yeah, love what they're for doing. For sure. TJ Rogers officially left blind. <laughs> Supreme, they're they're down. Their revenue's down. We're going to be talking about wow. that. Supreme and Hardee's also. And other companies can't. They, they, they love to steal our logos, man. They love oh. to steal our logos. <laughs> yes. We got uh, Phil Mickelson is his company. Uh, what's his company called, Dubs? What is it? Fallen there? Footwear, I think. <laughs> it's called Fallen I mean, Footwear. It, it looks just like it, bro. They are stealing some stuff. And we talk about some other logos that are very similar to some skate logos. Yeah. But uh, yeah, let's get into it here. Nine Club Live. Let's we are go. going... We're doing it, guys. Episode three. This episode is brought to us by Athletic Greens, mm. Manscaped, Element, not the skate company. It's Electrolyte Drink Mix. And Woodward, Woodward Skate Camp. Element T. Element T. I mean, I, it's Element T. I don't know if they call it Element. We should know We that, should call actually. it, yeah. <laughs> but hey, I, I, I use that product every single day. Yeah, I put good. it in my little uh, nine club Yeti thing, mm-hmm. shake it around, do my little jump rope, maybe skate for a little bit. You do a little, something. you do nice. a little shake weight. I do a shake weight. You do a little shake weight. Nice. Both hands. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta yeah. add that one more into my, my regimen. I, yeah, I'm just on the shake athletic weight? green. Well, oh, shake weight too. That's too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> you gotta implement that in your into your Every routine, morning, dude. <laughs> Dubs, all you gotta do is just drive here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you just gotta drive. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> yeah, but I got to definitely, you know, incorporate that into my kit. It's actually really good stuff. It's yeah. it's um, it's the better version of Gatorade, basically. Right. Yes. That's what yeah. it is. So no 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 sugars, no added dyes, no added, it's all it's it's dope shit. Love it that. tastes it tastes good too. Like yeah. different flavors. Uh mine's the orange is my favorite cuz mm-hmm. you know the Nine Club drink is the orange Gatorade. There you go. Yeah. Oh yeah. Why not? It fills in for that. Kelly too. walks in drenched with sweat. He goes and grabs yeah. a uh, what did you grab? A Nature's Valley <laughs> no, granola bar and that Nature's yeah, Valley. A, no, what's the other one? Cliff Bar. No. Cliff Bar. No. Nope, nope, nope. Nature's Valley. It's is the, the one with the, the peanut one. stuff on the bottom. Yeah, that, it's a peanut that, dip. Is that? Yes, it is a peanut dip. Is that Nature's Valley though? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which one it is, but they're fucking good. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, good stuff. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be doing this. We got Twitch over here. We see everybody over here. Brandon Riddick. We Let's see Chess see. Match. Jeff Freeland over here. And we'll also YouTube, Waffle Jackson, Bob Weaver. We see everybody over here. Barbie Pudwell. Mm. Tori Pudwell's mom. How you doing out there in, in <laughs> YouTube world? Oh, thanks for tuning in. Love your son, by the way. <laughs> It's true. Short arms, we rouge. all we all do. Short arms, the uh, wolf wood. Yeah, we everybody. Good stuff. Where do we want to even go right now? Uh, Where do we want to go? Right, right, let's right. Yeah. What about? Let, let's. Should we just get into some skating real quick? Why not? Um, we love skating because we are skating. Uh, Brett Highness. Brett Highness dropped the. Um, oh, 
no. What happened to the thing? Let me let me put it uh -oh. full screen. Well, this is great. Well, I was. You see these new video parts, and you don't. I've never heard of this kid. Right. It's like it's cool that these brands put them out there. Oh right? yeah. Yeah. So. Got to start somewhere. But that's like a you know when you have a part on like a like OJ's is a big wheel brand totally and it's and, been around for years. Yeah. It's weird. It's kind of like got a revamp going. So this is the time of year where the flies start coming out. Yeah, they're so. gonna start. We're gonna start <laughs> smacking shit. Like, yeah. Oh God, it's still not. It's Mind you, get that. See, yeah. sort of technical difficulty. Of course, we have to have that. Of course, of course. Every show, we'll have one little minor thing. If we don't, it'll be a good day. It's, not... <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, dude. Chris, deep breath. Deep breath. Yeah, you got to start out a part with. This is a great way it, to start out a part like this. You're just like, okay, what does this kid got? Oh, you, you got my attention, you, bro. Yeah, you, you have to do that right away in the video part. Yeah, especially if the, you're 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 getting shown. That was amazing at CCLA, was. by the way. That's uh, you got to. If people don't know who you are, don't. If you're type of sponsoring tape or your new part, it better be first trick banger. Yes. Yeah, you got to grab people's attention right away. Yeah, right away. you really do. You yeah. really do. And I mean, and throughout the whole thing as well. Keep us, keep us, uh, keep us going. Yeah, you no can have, dude, flip. That, that was, was insane, bro. I, I still, I mean, that's a perfect spot for it, but it's literally the most hardest trick to do on that spot almost, right? Right. <laughs> it's I've never been there. I don't know how difficult that spot is to skate, but it looks difficult to do that trick anywhere. It looks like yeah. the perfect spot for that, though. It totally. does, but for then sure. you're like, but then you have to be good enough to do that trick, which most people aren't, <laughs> you know? I'll say that. Right. Yeah, I probably would have done it there. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you did a lot of tail side front side. Well, let's, yeah. let me let me look at this. Let's look at this spot real quick. Let me see the. That's mm. a fun. That reminds me of the stoner oh, the, curved ledge. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's oh, we've talked about this before, but that's uh, it's up in San Francisco, and they built it to skate. It's an that's art so installation. Dope. Yeah. Thank you, whoever built that. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Let's see. That was cool. The tricks over. The tricks over to flat manuals are always hard just to keep them. Uh, to balance them for so long. All right, let's check this out one more time. I mean, look at that spot. Uh, let's see, Dubs, what would you do there? Um, no slide, no heel, no slide. I don't know if that would be ideal there just because really? of the angle. I, well, I, I, I know what you're saying. You know what I, mean? I know what you're saying. Maybe if you did half cab, no half slide. Half cab, no slide. To and then it could push you into that. Yeah, yeah. that could possibly work. Yeah. Half cab, no slide, heel, to no, no slide. slide. Or half cab, no slide, shove it to crooked grind. Well, that's a lot of, of rotation to yeah. get over that, though. Yeah, run it, though. You would have, uh, <laughs> you, yeah, run it. I, I remember, because um, mm. there's a spot in uh, the Green Ledges. The, oh, right here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I think that's where I started to see that happen. We're in, I remember Corey Kennedy and, and yeah, right, the back tail kick up the back tail. Yes. And I was like, dude, okay, it's starting to happen. Yep. Where this part of skateboarding is getting that tech, where you're flipping in back to the trick that you Tori started. did a lot of tricks there, too. For he sure. did back tail, big flip to back lip. Perfect. Gnarly. Did that he pop is, out? Did he pop out fakie? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't. Yeah. But but he's got it all, man. It's a good. It's good to see, man. OJ Wheels. Uh, vid, vidya. Vidya part. That's what it's called. Brett. Brett Highness. Well, yeah. yeah combo. Hit him with days, the Highness. <laughs> good stuff. Hey, we just put together little montages just to you know show that we don't want to like you know the whole thing, but give you a go check taste. it out. That was sick. A little Lakai flow going. Huh? Yeah, dude. That old school spot right there, dude. Uh, Is that a rancho? El, El Cajon. Okay. There's uh, that shot, spot so good, but there's a crack right where you pop at the beginning of the ledge. That you know always, they fixed. You know they fixed. They that. fixed it, but Bondo. still, yeah, Bondo. But it was Is like it, it was kind of weird uh, for a while. Is there a? There's a bigger. Isn't there like a taller one there? Or is that a different spot? I'm thinking. No, of? it's a different one. Uh, yeah. You thinking the one in? Um, yeah, it's like it's got a, the manual pad out front, Corona. maybe the two two up, two down. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's in Corona. You're right. Mm, got yeah. the big ledge. I think, he knows what I think he I got a about. Yeah. got a photo with Dave Broach on that thing, Ooh, man. Broach, no, no faky nose grind. Either faky nose grind or faky vibe. I don't know. I like, get one, one of those two. Yeah. You know that spot? I realized I only skated her once. Oh no, I went there way back in the day. I did no slide nollie heel up it. Nice. Never used the foot. Never used the footage. Is, where is it at? I have it's on a hard drive. Just, oh, pull that there's thing like, out. There's like a the good like two years of my life where the footage just never came out. Dude, yeah. I think we all have <laughs> a part of that happening to us at one time or another. Yeah. Everything I've filmed has come out. I made sure of it. <laughs> There's okay. got to be some things. No. <laughs> Imagine. 
Chris like you really know, you <laughs> really know that. I try to get as much footage out there as possible. And Chris has all of his three you know minutes of footage on his hard drive. Yeah. It's about four and a half. Oh, four and a half. Who's minutes. counting though? Yeah, yeah. Hey, some slow motion. You know, it's all slow mo. Slow mo adds a lot to the part. Oh, big time. of time. <laughs> sure. <sighs> <laughs> it does though. It does, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Oh, we're just going to keep this running. This has been an, this has been since episode one. We've been talking about this, and it's kind of fun to keep up with it and everything because, like, the jacuzzi team, mm. jacuzzi Louis Bar Little, the jacuzzi team, <laughs> people just keep jumping in. Yeah, they, <laughs> people keep jumping in that jacuzzi, man. I mean, you got uh, Michael Paluzzi up in there. You got Matt Savadakis. Savadak. Savadakis. Yeah, that's right. He's actually really good. Joey too. Maroney. Joey Marone. That's right. <laughs> John D'Lo. I mean, yes. the, 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 we're, we're looking at a stacked team right here. Already. Like, this is a full-fledged, like, let's go right out the gate. And they're still announcing. I've, I have a feeling they're going to My announcement's tomorrow, and I still skate for chocolate. Damn, so you're the first person to write for two companies at the same time? Yep. Four companies? Exactly. Damn, good for you. But not the first person to have a two ads in one magazine with different different companies wait who did that again javante i think That's he had was. the uh, it was. two truck companies I or something i think it was i want to say i don't i can't remember i remember there was a rick howard s there wasn't rick howard s ad but there was an s ad with rick howard's name in it and i could have sworn he had a dc there was a dc ad with a dc really a DC. i'm not positive on that but i do remember seeing a rick howard in because it was initially on s when it first came out yeah, right. Yeah. You didn't know that? I didn't remember that. Yeah. yeah. There was the ad. There was, there was his DC. We've talked about this before, but his DC initials, first pro model. I need to see that ad. Was it, it wasn't an ad of him, but his name. No, his was name in, in the ad. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Like, cause, yeah, it was. That's crazy. Yeah. I can't, I mean, if it did, it was a, do a drop in the bucket of like what was going on at that time. So I probably just heard it and I was just like, huh? And well, then, it, that's when DC was just starting. Yeah. So it's like. You know, there was only a handful of shoe, uh, skate, skater-owned shoe brands. This is true. Yeah. But I heard that was one, too. There mm. you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shout out to the, jac <laughs> the, the jacuzzi company. Shout out, man. People keep jumping in, like Dub said, man. <laughs> it's, well, getting, that, it's getting crowded in there. It is. I wonder uh, what they got in store. You know what I mean? You, here's, here's the thing I want to say. I mean, I could have guessed a couple people that would have been on that team for sure. Right. Yeah. And I do love the, it feels so relaxing to look at their posts because it's like silly stuff. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like this, the, the special powers, whatever they said they had, like or like special things they do, right. talents. Um, what I hope, no, that's what I hope. It'd be curious to watch what they do because this is a perfect opportunity for them to to do a company in a new way yeah. where it's not like this cookie cutter thing of like, hey guys, we're going to do this company. We're going to go put stuff on Thrasher mm -hmm. and blah, blah, blah. Like, Start a YouTube channel, all these things. Like yeah. it could, there's new ways for them to start a company. I just hope that that's something they do. And it just seems like now that they don't have any restrictions behind them, having this bigger entity behind them, it's like they they're just grassrooting it. I think they're gonna win, bro. Yeah, I yeah. think we are, as a skate community are gonna all get behind them and, and make sure that they win. Well, Louis, he's always been a fun guy, totally. And um, it's just. He puts himself into the, you know, Mark Johnson was the, you know, he started that company and he put everything, like that was his whole vision. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it's the tilt mode. There was always this like rad element to, to enjoy. And then now jacuzzi, mm -hmm. you know, Louis is kind of bringing it back over and doing it the way that, he, like you said, he wanted to, he wants to do it yeah. without having somebody behind him breathing down their neck. You know? and it seems like it's all fun, dude. Like just have fun with this, bro. It's, it's, a, it's a new venture. It's skateboarding. Like you, Let's not take it too seriously. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, from the business aspect, you do have to take it seriously. But from the front, like, just go out and have fun and just do things that you guys already do. Totally. You know? well, it's funny because they're not putting each team member out, uh, like, all the time. Like, Johnny's on and he back over crooked Hollywood freaking 60, whatever it is. You know what I mean? It's totally. like, it's this personality. Johnny stuff. partied hard last night. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like, yeah, they're doing stuff like that, which gives everyone such good personality and you can relate to these people. You right. know, that's what Joy did too. Right. Right. Like remember they had no skate ads. Yeah. That was the coolest thing. If I, oh, you, yeah. that, I wish I wrote for enjoy because I didn't have to get one skate ad. Right. Like, hey, Kelly, we need an ad. I'm like, okay, what stupid things do I do? Like, <laughs> Look, I mean, here's here, here's some of their go. old ads right here. There you go. Favorite company filming a new video. You know? Yeah. It's, uh, who's that? Caswell filming a Heineken bottle? You got oh, Jerry Sue right, reading the man. You know what I mean? Like, there was no skate ads. And yeah, they, they, they did it their way. They continued that almost the entire 
pretty much the entire time they existed. Mm -hmm. And I always look forward to seeing those ads. For so, sure. Yeah. You expected it at, at a certain point. It's just they they haven't had a skate ad. Like what, look what? at the, look at this by the way. This is a little uh, that aged appropriately. <laughs> oh wow. There you go. Ah. Oh, that Nestor? He's with... having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> He's having a good time. I love yeah, it. it'll be cool, man. I, I'm I'm looking forward to what they got going over there uh, with sidewalk distribution, which is going to be um, Slappy Trucks, mm -hmm. Mike Sinclair's company, and Opera Skateboards, which is uh, Bill Weiss's company, so and sick. the Jacuzzi Squad, man. So Can't three brands under the umbrella at the so moment. Far, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, looking good. I bet man. there's going to be more too. Oh yeah, yeah. Wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. They got to fill that distribution. They got to get it. I think it's cool to see John Delo on there because remember he had talked about he was going to ride for possibly ride for Enjoy on his episode. Yeah, and so it's cool that he actually got to like now not ride for Enjoy but to be in that path of, same working, of working with Louie. Yeah, and I think that'll be fun to watch. And uh, that dude is on fire right now. Mm -hmm. John Delo is oh, yeah. nuts. Oh, yeah. He is unbelievable, yeah. bro. By the way, I mentioned that my ad's coming out tomorrow for Jacuzzi, even though I still skate for chocolate. There it is. This is just a precursor <laughs> to my ad coming out. This is just, yes. This is, uh, that's going to be my ad that's tomorrow that Louis is going to be posting. That's you are running that right yeah. there, bro. Yeah. That was the quickest, that was the easiest thing Charlie's ever done. <laughs> that's the, uh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> That was a layup for Charlie. Yeah. <laughs> Who said Charlie? Louie just sent this in via fax machine. Well, it's easy. That was easy for Louie, too. Like, My goodness. Know, that's so fucking amazing, man. My bro. goodness gracious, man. That was the unkept beard. <laughs> but your glasses, My razor broke. What your, do you want from me? Your glasses look like they're kind of off, like tilted. Yeah, they were fine. <laughs> what was going Where on they? right Let's there? Let's see. I'm not, no, crooked. my head's tilted. It's a little crooked, though. <laughs> what was going on? That's a, right? like a that's like a month on the look at we're at like the like a um they like just, like got to the hotel right we're at like there, the man. sure stay hotel right yeah. there you know where you're just like sure I've never heard of this place before <laughs> where the hell are we what was going on uh, yeah you're on tour I just, uh, yeah on tour my 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 razor had broken and I said <laughs> you know what let me just let me just run with this man you ran it bro yeah it's, and plus you know after a while on tour you just get disheveled. It looks like it. <laughs> Waffle Jackson said that was pre manscaped. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, by the way, the Eric Mata, <laughs> thanks for the 20 bucks. He said, Love you, dubs. Oh, hey, I love you too, bro. There you go. And ducks. There you go. And ducks. You already know that. Yeah. Speaking of Charlie, we were talking about Charlie, <laughs> um, which uh, God, God bless Charlie. But if Charlie lives up in, uh, you know, Quebec, Quebec yep. French Canadian. And uh, they did this. So Montreal got this. Uh, look at the skate park, by the way. This is a skate park. This is their skate park that they had. I forget what Charlie said. It was uh, 2007 or yep. something like that. Yep. And um, they were so fed up with it. They threw tomatoes in there. Yeah. I mean, they threw the tomatoes in there. They, they wanted a new skate park. It was a big thing in the... Um, in the, you know, uh, Montreal Breeze, the newspaper up there. <laughs> hmm. Look at that rail Wait, on the who, side Excuse right me, there. who threw the tomatoes? The, all the skaters. Every, oh, the they skaters. were just fed okay. up. They, they were, were fed up. Like, I mean, look what they were okay. given. Yes. Look what they were given. Okay. This is just horrible. Okay. And uh, boom. And now they have this beautiful plaza That's up there, awesome. man. Look at this thing. And this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight things there. It's beautiful. In this spread out place. That's all we need. And totally. it looks nice. That's all we need. We yeah. don't need, look at this. That's amazing. Yeah. We don't need big tubes. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't need fences. We don't need, we don't need fences <laughs> like block, like caging us in. Like totally. we're fucking uh, herd of wild animals I know. no this is this is amazing dude. this is a place that is built for skateboarders that looks like an actual plaza people just walk through yeah and it, it's gonna give skateboarders opportunity to film and do tricks look to put themselves this. out there totally and not look like it's in a skate park look at this yeah. granite I'll go, marble look at that granite right there i'll man. go film lines that you know what i mean and actually oh, put it in a part you I'll know, put that in my new chocolate part. We're gonna go up there, Dubs. We're gonna go there to we go. Montreal. Yes, dude. Say say uh, what's up to everybody. Se va, se va quoi, <laughs> and just start to skate, man. We need more of these. Yeah, look at this. Oh, beautiful, man. 
This is what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, dude. Yeah, we got some footage here of uh, dudes killing it. Killing it, man. Definitely, dude. Uh, who's getting this? Xander wow. Mitchell. Oh, this kid. That was so Xander sick. Mitchell is on point I, right here. Those are all different times of yeah. him doing that trick. No, it's not just once. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? How are you? Yeah, this I've never heard of this kid until I saw this clip. And I was like, well, he's going to. Yeah. He's got the ASICs on. Uh, you know something's going mm -hmm. on there. Hunter saying the Canada hashtag Canada trip for sure, man. Ray is all no metal bro. edges, no metal edges. Bro, it's smooth though. Definitely. Smooth. I think it's the right way to do it, man. You know, because that 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 granite, you could replace it. Oh, dude, it's real buttery. It looks like it doesn't. It'll wear down over time, but it's not like it won't. It don't chip away real fast. It doesn't look this like one, right. This dude. And did. yes, you can replace them. You can replace yeah. a granite. Yeah. Yes. This dude did switch one foot. Back five zero, switch one foot back five zero, one foot out. Do we know who he skates for, or he's just floating around? Studio. Studio. Okay. St st studio. Big up studio. And we've talked about him on the show, in the experience show in the past. Of course we did, man. He's great. Yeah, he's getting. It looks like he's getting better. <laughs> but look at it. I mean, with a plaza like that, oh, so dope. You're automatically going to get better. I am. I am jealous of this place. Like I would be there if this was in Venice. I would be there every day. Oh, sure. Even though if it was in Venice, would be blown out. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. You'll be clicking your tail around, around every day. It. Wow, every day. I mean, there's no tubes. <laughs> there is there's no, no tubes. There's true. no fences. You know, put a two part. True. Dude, but shout out to the people in Montreal, the skaters, and everyone that made that happen. Yeah, because that's a lot of work. Definitely. It needs and a quarter tube. What? It needs a quarter tube. Quarter no, tube? no, no, nope. it's fine. No transitions. Just yeah, you don't see transitions plaza. in a plaza, dude. Bro, you, 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 this is a plaza. Stoner Park has one quarter pipe off in the corner, and it's great. Everybody utilizes it. Yep. It's got the uh, it's a corner quarter pipe, yeah. it's mm -hmm. corner QP. So everybody goes and you know, QT. they can keep the uh, momentum flowing, yeah. Anyway. But in a place in the middle of a city like that, it's cool that it's just like strictly street i love it it blends in with everything else it doesn't totally. look like what the hell is that over but there but you can't t treat it like a regular like park and just go sit down on the oh, bench no. <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep it moving i trip out because like even at the old park here like i'll skate that manual pad sometimes mm -hmm. and people will sit down on the bench and i'm like hey excuse me can you guys like not sit there They're like what i'm like if this is a skate park yeah this is built for skateboarders to skate they don't uh, understand they yeah, think it's like, just I'm, I'm not trying to be rude to you but yeah. this is <laughs> It was built for this. And uh, you just didn't notice me just skating right there right now. Yeah. Like, you, apparently. You just saw me skate this. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Shout out to Montreal. Whoever I got that going out there, God bless them, because we need more of that stuff. I was always jealous. Um, remember back in the day, they, I, I felt like Canada was always ahead of the game when when it came to the skate parks. Yes. You would, the skate uh, parks would come, and like that was when we first got a first look at, like, we're like, what, what are these, like, this is like a crazy looking park. It's totally. like a plaza. Yep. But they were kind of like, they had the pyramids with the thing, but they were all um, very mellow, mm -hmm. very easy to skate, super just convenient. Not it extreme wasn't games. Any, not extreme, that. not X games. Yeah. Like just yeah. where they, they build a park for BMX and skate yep. and bladers and Vancouver extreme walkers. Vancouver was kind of like the first 100%. skate plaza. Really? 100%. And they like actually use marble in mm. like their legends. The only... The only thing I thought that was hard, skaters there too. Like I watched the guys there skate it, and they can just destroy it. Mm -hmm. Maybe they changed it, but they used they put uh, there was a lot of slivers in the uh, granite where it was like really short, mm -hmm. so there was a lot of cracks. Right, it, in, and like so, people it wore down really quick. So it was right. always little notches. Right, that was the only thing I was like, that's eh, kind of hard. Yeah, to Yeah, they should have made some longer. Yeah, yeah. but I, I think they might have made changes. But for sure, it, it, that that has to be credited as one of the first skate plazas. I thought Rob there. Dyrdek's one that he did in Ohio was one of the first I think two. That was the first, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the states, in the states. But that Canada, was I, 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 I mean. In general, I, 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 didn't, I didn't realize that Canada was. I, it, that's just me thinking out loud. I, I think Europe was doing it way before, but they just didn't know it was for skaters. <laughs> yeah. I think you're right. <laughs> and China. Yeah. That's right. But up. the thing, the Deer Deck one was like a legit, it was a plaza, but it was it was gnarly. To, to, like the first legit plaza, I thought. And he did it specifically like this is a plaza. like you know. But the parks were huge. Like the stairs were huge. It was like, it was kind of overwhelmingly gnarly. For you know, sure. you know, for sure. This is uh, Vancouver's uh, full. This is a skate. It's a park, but um, it's a it's good. It's a it's a, it's a rad park. I, I've been to that one. I it's wouldn't. Cool. I yeah. wouldn't place this as a plaza. No, no. Yeah, but it was like it was it was 
labeled it kind of when it came out. Right. It was like, oh, the Vancouver Plaza. No, well, you could say whatever you want. But. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Like I said, I think Barcelona or, you know, Europe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I see Spencer Hamilton skate there all the time, and Man, people kill. Oh, that's a great baseball. training ground, though. Yeah, don't get me wrong. It is fun. Instagram wise, it is fun to watch for sure. But beautiful rewind wants to know who embezzles Supreme's money. Man, we're gonna get to that pretty <clears> soon <throat> here. Uh, How's everybody doing, man? YouTube, YouTube's going crazy right now. Twitch is, listen, our Twitch channel was like pretty good in the beat. We were doing like uh, two dudes, one game in there with me and Mike, and then we did three dudes with me, Steezus, and Mike Mo, and then we were doing uh, a bunch of green room stuff in there. Mm-hmm. We had to, our, our, our Twitch channel was popping, but now, man, it's, it's, we're trying to bring it back from, yeah. the, from the dead. Man. They lost faith in us for a second, but yeah. hey, we're trying to build back here. <laughs> Well, do you think it's 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 tough to do that when you have both both no, on right now? I think now? it's just like I think it's just people, you know, they they they, prefer they take Twitch. their they take their uh, oh why well Twitch is just <laughs> Twitch is in a position right now anyway, but um, I think people just you know they they delete the app from their phone. They they get into other uh, stuff. They stop watching Twitch. Maybe yeah. they turn off notifications. Yeah. Um, I think it's the whole thing because we just we were we neglected it for so long. Kevin know? Perez hit me up and he was like, because he was on our chat last time mm-hmm. uh, I was here at least, mm-hmm. and he's like, I love it that it's on Twitch because it's easier for me to edit. It's mm-hmm. like he's editing uh, while watching it on Twitch. Oh wow! And I was like, for whatever reason, he's like, yeah, it makes it easier. So what? YouTube slows this shit down. Or I don't know if it's what, what that specifically what it is, mm. but I guess because he he does Twitch all the time. Hmm. So he's maybe a, he's a Twitcher. Yeah. Okay. But but yeah, and we do have a kick. I see some people commenting about kick. We do have a kick. Um, yeah, we do. Uh, but we're gonna ride this. We're gonna ride it. Uh, this Twitch thing out. See where see where it goes. I mean, it's not it's not it's not gone yet. You know. But uh, anyway, we're double dipping right now. So. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I mean, YouTube's our main thing. I yeah, think, so for I sure. For sure. Like it'll always be that way. Corinthians 219 with the 1999. Thank you for that. Appreciate Woo-hoo. you. Appreciate Love you. Very cool. Wait, what is that little, is that an emote thing? Or what is that? Emoji? Yeah, it's a little sticker. Oh, it's a sticker. Hey. Yeah, it's a little sticker. <laughs> Thanks there. for the sticker. Twitch has a stronger stream. Video quality looks better. Okay. Well, Twitch... There's a whole thing going on here, you know. <laughs> um, let's talk about Cater. That's F- finally announced it. Finally, we knew publicly. Yeah, we everyone kind of saw. It. People were talking about it left and totally. right. Right, right. Don Violet, Violet Skateboards. Congratulate I me. Mean, that company's I mean, is uh, Bill's doing a good job with that company. It's got a nice little young squad over there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. William Strobeck is doing his thing. It's good though. Um, I was surprised. I, I really, I mean, I wasn't surprised as the as the months went on, and it was kind of like being a parent to like, oh, he's you know he's just probably gonna leave Baker, but I didn't think he would ever leave Baker. I didn't like, think so either. Andrew Reynolds found him, you know what I mean, like, and raised him practically into this like phenomenal skateboarder, and Baker was his jam the whole time. Totally. Mm-hmm. And I was like, dude, this is, I don't know, it's. I mean, you grow up, right? You mm-hmm. start hanging out with different people. You start getting involved with different cliques. Totally. But man, I just, I thought I thought it was going to be Baker for life, man. I mean, you always kind of like, he's turned into a, his his ability is ridiculous, and like who he is as a person, he's got a whole new group of friends almost now, mm-hmm. you know. And Bill, Bill, he's out with Bill all the time, now, right. filming. So yeah. I I don't know. And I, and I thought it was cool they gave it some time based on the fact that he probably had boards. At Baker, that needed to be sold. That's always the thing, right? Definitely. It's like you don't want to just quit a company and then leave them dry with all your boards and they can't sell them. And you know what? Like, whatever Mm -hmm. went down behind the scenes, I know that Bill Strobeck is like a genuinely nice dude and he knows exactly the ski, he knows the skate industry Mm -hmm. and he would not steer Cater wrong to like leave Baker and leave him hanging with Mm -hmm. like just massive product. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's Whether crazy, it was though. Cater or Bill that made that decision, like Bill would be like, yeah, 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 you got to do the right thing. But at these, these days, it's hard to keep stuff secret. <clears throat> so as soon as you start hearing like little words, like yeah, all this little talk, that stuff starts to spread. So true. Look, I, I know that yes, you want to get rid of all the boards that you have on deck, and that that's the best way to go about it. But to be honest, like it's really hard either way because once people start hearing, it's gonna be hard to get rid of those boards. So. That's yeah. the that's the predicament True. that you're gonna be in, in in any position when any dude has to like jump ship. 
So, you know. Yeah. And especially if you're like writing blank boards. Yeah. If you're writing for, I don't know, like, you know, if you're writing for Baker and then you just, you're writing blank boards, people are like, whoa, 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 what's yeah. going on? Yeah. But, nothing nothing uh, secret these days, you know what I'm saying, as far as that's concerned. Yeah. But they got, they got, ba- um, Troy Gibson, dude. Troy Gibson. That was, I, I watched the video. It's cool. We've, we've been watching him throughout the last couple of years through Bill uh, Bill's videos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's been pretty cool to see how good this kid's gotten. Super buttery. Good. He's Super buttery. Good. And I turned the, it was rad to see, I don't know if you guys saw it online, but they had like a little party, like a little surprise party. Sorry, Dubs. It's like, <laughs> when they threw a little surprise uh, pro him, party right? in New York, mm-hmm. and it was like all his homies there and his parents were there. It was like the most like perfect, like going pro par- or like, Going pro surprise party. What a great little feeling. Yeah. <laughs> well, you don't know. You don't know if it's you a great you feeling know. or not. You, you think it's a great feeling. Yeah. <laughs> but I just think That's it's, rad. it's rad what Bill's doing for these kids. And Yeah, dude. Um, he's, he's found a really good group of kids. He's never going to forget that moment. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. You, you, like, watch the him, he's like tearing up and his, his best friends are there and his family's there. Yeah. And it's like that's one of the most important times in – if you ever had that, I mean, Chris didn't really cherish his too much. He was like mad that he wasn't late to Barcelona. Yeah, I was. But... <laughs> I wasn't prepared. But that that time, and sorry, you don't either. But yeah, like, yeah. I remember when I got my first board shown to me, I started crying. And oh, it was no amazing. party. Yes, it was just like Chico and, and Jay showed it to me. I was like, what? and I just know that feeling. And that just getting a board in general is one of the. That's the best feelings you could ever have for on sure. a skateboard. For sure. Yeah. I can't complain. Look, I, I had a moment. It just wasn't a party moment. I know. I'm, you know I'm just joking. I mean? You turned pro yeah, for girl. Well, like, come yeah. on, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. kidding me? This is them at the little pro party. Look how nice that place looks, dude. You're like chilling in New York and like. I know. Where are they at? So the Soho sick. house? Jesus Christ. <laughs> turn pro at the Soho. I mean, <laughs> let me rent this place <laughs> out real guy. quick. Turn, turn this kid pro. Got connects over here, huh? But like. There, I had a hard like, I don't know. He's probably not. This company doesn't look like a company that would be like, "Hey guys, you work for a video part, and we're gonna turn you pro and f- right after." Right. It's just like these guys go out and skate, do their thing, and then Bill and them are they're great. Yeah, He's, when it's time, it's, it's time. time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that ain't no Olive Garden. You know that, I mean? that is not no Olive Garden. That's a man. Soho house. What right if it there? was catered by Olive Garden? At a nice that would not place. be catered by no Olive Garden, bro. <laughs> Bill, it's like with this. You never know. Spot. Yeah, you Hater never know. No, dude. Let's look Bill at the bread. Not, Let's look Bill for those not, bread Bill sticks. Bill would not do that. <laughs> we look no for those bread <laughs> sticks on the table, man. Every table, they're just like. No, he would not salad. do that. Bill knows better. Bill. Wow. He's 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 got a palate. He's from New York too. Come on, they got the best food out there. So come on, man. What's well, it's I don't know good stuff man it is it is it is surprising to think that Cater left Baker we just saw him grow up yeah. man we saw him from like day one as this like little kid just growing up in that underneath Andrew Reynolds wing yeah, you know and I, but I guess the old bird you know gotta he's gotta go fly gotta go f- spread his yeah. wings you know <laughs> but um yeah I don't know it's just it's kind of bittersweet, I think, for me. For sure. Because I always just pictured him on Baker. Same. And yeah. killing it and um, with that whole squad, you know? No doubt. And it was, it's funny to look back at it. Reynolds Nine Club, when he came here, he brought Cater. Yeah. Yeah. And Cater was, he was tiny. He was a little kid. He was sitting, he was sitting, sitting over, over the here. Yeah. He was like, everybody sat next to me for a second. He, he was like, like, he was like, he was dude. tiny, dude. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> before he, right before he sprouted up. Yeah, man. But now we got we can't wait to hopefully get him on here one day. Oh you know yeah, of course. In the, hopefully in the near future. Yeah, for sure. Talk to him about all this. Yeah, violet stuff. Violet violet. skateboards. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Congratulations to all of them. Be interesting so. to keep on keep on watching that whole. Uh, it's almost like a, like a little hint hint like his with his Adidas shoe mm. being in purple. You know, just purplish uh, violet. I don't know. Maybe mm-hmm. it was kind of like. I yeah. don't know meant to be there you go there you go uh really quick just want to shout out to i saw some um what did i see oh people are upgrading their memberships oh joey potts with the five gifted memberships over on youtube well, i want to thank you so much for that he says shout out to the boys welcome back thank you for that and also freddie fire pipes it's a good name freddie fire pipes <laughs> the 1999 appreciate you <laughs> thank you appreciate you as one person gets on a company another person leaves a company and 
TJ Rogers, no right he no longer rides for blind sky <laughs> Later. But that, he also said thanks to Bill Weiss for believing in me and putting me on fifteen years ago. Damn. Yeah. I mean, you, you could kinda tell that this is something we've seen and heard about for a while. The mer he posted it for a, a while ago and then mm -hmm. he deleted it. Quick delete. And he's been going back and forth <laughs> in it. He I was talking to him, he's like, dude, I was just I just I just had to do it. It was one of those, it's like we were ripping a bandaid off real slowly. Well, this is a to me this is a very quick post. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean he spelled skateboards wrong. It yeah. wasn't like a, a thoughtful like let me think. This. It was kind of like to me it was like a heat of the moment. Like yeah. I am finally done with this shit. Yeah, you yeah. know let me let me listen. I don't know what's going on over there. You know it, it, uh, dwindle and all that. It's still going on blind. Like these companies are still there, but the internals of them I can imagine it's just probably just. The most stressful thing ever. Wait, and there's dudes still on teams over there? Yeah. Huh. 100%. They're uh -huh. still going. They got new uh, brand managers. They're, they're like... Yeah. But it's got to be turmoil over there. For it's sure. got to be. And if, especially for somebody like TJ. has been 15 years. He's yeah. the OG of the company. Yeah. He must have just got off the phone and was just like, like you said, like in the heat of the moment. Yeah. Like, fuck. No, yeah, was, but, but, but shout out to shout out to Bill, <laughs> you know. But that's for him. That's just me reading it, though. Yeah, that's just me reading into it. That's well, all. For sure. I think we all kind of looked at that. We're like, okay, it's a black screen. He did it on a story real quick, and was right. just like, all right, I'm out. Yeah, I post it real quick. But so he's he's got a colorway coming out for S, and I only say that because a he deserves that, and he he filmed a part for it, and like it, that's insane. In Ready? like a week, oh, get him. like it is nuts. That's amazing. he's filmed three video parts in the last two months, so this dude's on fire right now. He's got he's because he, he beat the cancer. He ain't he, stopping, bro. He's like I'm going, and I'm like, hey man, like he's just gonna put. He his was head skating, down. skating good. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. He's skating good at the little street league thing yeah. this weekend. Oh yeah, Definitely. yeah, yeah. So like he's just gonna go. He's leaving for his Thrasher tour uh, on Monday. So that like across Canada, like he's on fire. Let's get it. And I know he wants to get a new a new home. And I'm like, hey man, honestly, what do you want to ride for? But also just put your head down and keep going, dude. Yeah. And don't like that's you know people are like, what who should I ride for? I'm like, who do you want to ride for? And who do you who are your friends with? Skate for you. Yeah, like don't people think about that too much sometimes. Right. When it's I think you just need to like live in the moment and just skate. I definitely no doubt about I that. Am. But who are his options? I know like he's obviously phenomenal, but he's going to be with me in jacuzzi, <laughs> jacuzzi. or chocolate. You no, know, hey, to be honest, to be honest, I was like that could have been something that was might have been entertained. Yeah. It was a jacuzzi thing. Yeah. I don't know if that's even what's going on. Right. But I think Or opera. Or opera. Bill Weiss is opera. Yeah. But Bill Weiss was a team manager for Blind. Okay. Mhm. Mm they still want to work together. I don't know. I feel like opera, the way that I'm already looking at it, is that I feel like it's going to be that madness brand. Just like 100%. You know, but I don't even know. We don't even know anything about it. We've just seen the logo. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. all we've seen out of them. They're still trying to figure it out here. For sure. Yeah. TJ's on fire. That was. He really is, man. Snapped a cab flip right there. Yeah. He's sick. But, um, hey, you know what? That, that, that one point to make that decision to like finally cut it off is really tough to do. And I'm proud that he's on this new venture now. Yeah. You well, know. he had a trial run at it for. He had a trial run. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, and now a, a while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a lot of things that were tied to that. You yeah. Know? So I mean, it definitely hinders those situations. And obviously, if you're not prepared for that, then you know yeah. it's gonna take. You're gonna take a little hit. Yeah. You know. So, but big ups to TJ. He's definitely gonna work out what what needs to work out for him. He is a great skateboarder. Man. I'm stoked for him, man. I, I think sometimes you need that in in a. Sometimes you need that weight off your shoulders mm -hmm. you need that freeing moment of like quitting a shoe company and being able to skate any shoes you want yeah. mm -hmm. and try out the whole gambit of footwear you yeah. know even though this is different with boards but you of know course. what i mean though it's of the course. same kind of vibe you especially know? when you got it like that like if you can quit a shoe company or whatever the case is and just be like free-spirited to do whatever you want that's dope but not everybody can do that and think that you just could jump on another shoe company and think that it's true. Like that. <laughs> That's the hardest sure. thing. Because it, ain't, it yeah. ain't. So good luck with that, when, with the people that are. But again, you have to be really calculating on how this is going to work cause, and, and knowing that people are going to be one to, you know, mess with you. <laughs> well, like, real, like, people getting let go of, like, you know, like Evan Smith and, uh, oh my goodness. and Wes Kramer are off DC now. Mm. Crazy. And so, like, you're like, hey, where are they? And I saw Evan Smith skating Converse. And I'm like, 
that looks good. Mm -hmm. That looks good. How do you think that felt for him? Yeah. I, it's like, oh, I get to try out all these shoes. I've, he's probably, listen, some people wear the shoes off their board, right? Yeah. When they're not in front of a camera, they don't have to be. They wear other yeah. brand shoes. Yeah, but you so know, you, the a, lot of, a lot of contracts, you ain't allowed to do that. But a lot of people do, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? They get the chillers. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, so maybe, you, I don't know. It's, but it, like, I don't, I, for TJ going back to him, I think that sometimes it's just, a, it's a breath of fresh air, man, you know, mm -hmm. and wherever he lands, it's going to be good for him. But I think just to not have any sponsors right now is a good thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. If he can focus on whatever he wants to do, he's skate. That's yeah. what he wants to do. Yeah. Well, he has, that's just my opinion. He has Red Bull stuff. He writes for Red Bull, writes for S. He writes for Tech Deck. I don't know what, like, but that just messed with some of the, you know, again, cause yeah. that, that, that board sponsor was tied into that. Yeah, it's interesting, right? If you write for Tech Deck, you have to write for a board company. So now he, he's in limbo with that. Yeah. But I'm sure that Tech Deck has his back. So wherever he decides to, to go to, hopefully Tech Deck is making those boards. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, re regardless, I think TJ is going to be... He's he's, a, oh, he, dude. Yeah. He's like, literally, if I was to look... Okay, anyone that's on fire right now that a company would want to put on, you have a free agent right now that is on fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a good kid that is he's got other stuff going on and mm -hmm. he's a workhorse. And totally. people respect him, dude. Totally. He's came a long way, man. He has. Yeah. And I just want to I mean kill 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 him me gnarly he says no Chris it's not a good thing in your thirties. I would tend to agree with that for sure. But I what? think um so, like, not... it's, it's being free from a board company right. and having that, right. that yeah. weight off your shoulders. Totally. But I do think that there is um a point you get with a company when there is turmoil behind the scenes and there's a lot of moving parts. Mm -hmm. I think that that's when it is very freeing mm -hmm. and you don't have to deal with all that bullshit anymore. Totally. You know, well, someone, someone back in the comments said, LOL to tech deck. And I'm like, LOL. I don't think you realize that, you know, these dudes get broke off pretty, pretty dope for skating for tech deck. So, true. you know, I, I think it's very um, naive of you to throw the LOL and I get it, dude, it's tech deck, but look, everybody, Almost every brand has tech deck. I'm gonna just speak out loud because that's yeah. if you look, you can see that. You guys have had Pro Tech Deck models, yeah, yeah. 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 and still do. Still I'm the do. only one here that has them. I guess, still do. But it's, all it's right. a great feeling. <laughs> <laughs> to have a I toy. never got that surprise party. It's great to have, a, to have a toy. <laughs> yeah, we have a toy. Dude. We do. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. But um, dude, when you were, I was a kid, just re real quick, like I would be in school and I'd be doing tech deck, like, like, like Nolly Front Crook. Yeah. I'd be trying stuff like that and. That's it's so many people do yeah, the these little stuff. phases, bro. Yeah. At the end of the day, it all relates to skateboarding. And skateboarding has come a long way to have a little tech deck board that you can fuck around with. Yeah. And on, plus, bro. it's like I don't want to get into the whole pros, how much they get paid, and all this stuff nowadays. Oh. But it's like that's probably a good portion of yeah. these guys' money to be able to survive. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, it, the skate industry. What you're getting board royalties. You're a pro. You're a pro skater. You get board royalties. That's it. What? Dude, so you you, you sell two hundred boards. You get four hundred bucks a month. Yeah, yeah just that, 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 that's a breakdown right there. That's right? that's what it is. That's why some of your favorite pros and skateboarders got jobs. Yep. So it's like, do you want your favorite pro skateboarder to have a job, or do you want them fully dedicated to their craft, going out every day doing their thing? Doesn't I think that you would want that. Dan Plunkett works for Skate Mental. That's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, that's awesome. And that's dope. Yeah, yeah. That's dope from that. I'm not saying it's not, aspect. but I'm just saying like he has to have I, a job. Hey, I work for Soltech. You know what I mean? Like I, that was actually one of the most clarifying moments in for my life was like, cool. I have a job for yeah. a company I love. I mean, if you could work, if you could work with the brands that you ride for, that'd be the most ideal thing. Amazing. Like if, instead of doing like if you were like a valet and trying to skate, you're yeah. doing two different things. Yep, is a little tough, right? Yeah, it throws you off a bit. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, you. In you this world, that, but... you got to work at whatever you got to do to, to make money, to, to pay your rent, to do all that. So whatever you got to do to do that, you got to do it. So skateboarding ain't going to do that. I'm going to tell you that majority of the time. So everybody that out there listening right now, if you're on that 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 voyage and you think that, oh, I'm going to turn pro and I'm going to be kicked up. Like, bro, <laughs> that, 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 that's, be kicked up. that's not yeah. the deal, bro. So. And you can evaluate. Pick it up. You yeah, can. you can. There is potential. Oh, hundred percent. You can. You get hundred percent. Right? Red Bull, Red Bull. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like no. All those type of things will pay you. Or if you find that right shoe deal, then you but better be on. I, that's yeah. what I was going to say. Though yeah. is like <laughs> I was almost a part of the last yeah. shoe colorway hurrah. 
-hmm. you know, when I, when it was audio and then audio was like, I got my colorway. I got a check for like $15,000. I'm like, that. Oh, this is, this is the start of, Look this is that. the start of it, baby. <laughs> yeah. Like I got 15 grand next quarter, four months from now. Ooh, I'm going to get another. I already forecasted. And, and I got another <laughs> shoe in mind for my next colorway. But then all of a sudden they dropped their whole, you know, yeah, um, program, program, uh, yeah. you know? So, I, and then after that, the shoe, um, Plus, I had to pay tax on the fifteen grand. <laughs> yeah, that, oh, you, yeah. And, they, and you might be naive to that. Oh my god, to a degree. Um, but then all of a sudden, you know that shoe colorway stuff, and all the companies started to pull back, and you know right. the Pac Sun thing happened. It's a whole thing. Yeah. Man. Well, but, Dub's um, got the the pro model shoe. I did. So uh, and and my shit never went over my road. I just stick. I stuck to like my my minimum. Nice. You know, I yeah. never really went over my my minimum, and, it, and it, that was fine for me. I never got one of those big checks from my from my shoe um, my shoe deal, yeah. and I was content with that because I was already getting I was getting broke off pretty pretty good. I thought, you know what I mean. I was able to save and uh, save up some money and buy a house. You know what I mean. So there you go. There you go. You know. Can I move in? Uh, you got no. extra room? <laughs> no, Shit. I don't. I have extra room for you, Chris. Right. Hey, <laughs> hey, if you Chris really need to, I, we can make us we can make it work. Storage and shed. Let's get everything out of there. <laughs> I'm gonna move in. <laughs> Hey, I want to shout out to Belly Ron real quick. No, no. First of all, TJ, we're stoked for you. Yes, Whatever dude. happens, we're, dude, we got your back, man. I, I think day. everything's going to be great for you, man. Um, Definitely. Big things ahead. But shout out to Gell uh, Belly Ron for the five gifted memberships over on YouTube, man. Big shout out. Appreciate yeah. you. Uh, we had just talked about shoes. Mm -hmm. We talked about the DC. We mm -hmm. talked about, but we didn't talk about... Uh, Shanahan, mm. John Shanahan got his new little shoe. That is not little. Congrats, that is big, new big little, dog shoe. That is new little is. DC shoe. It okay, is. that's okay. awesome. Cause that, so we were talking about this before the show, but that sole right there was a sole from the Clocker, which is like an old shoe from back in the day, mm -hmm. um, around that era where it was like all the OG DC shoes. Totally. You know, and it's cool that they got to pull from their own heritage. And work with that on something that's representing that style now. For sure. And that's that's a that's base. It looks perfect for him. Totally. You know, it looks like an old school shoe, but it's new. Totally. Mm -hmm. And you don't Got see the strap on it and all that. The strap, uh, dude. The avatar. I don't know if you guys remember. I, I was so heavy in the SNDC back in the day. That you like, know all the names. I know all the names, dude. <laughs> like I, have, I thought you were talking about they're coming out the, the new movie. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, damn, hey, another one. Okay. Yeah. But congratulations to him, and yes, that must have been dude. a super fun project for him. A, feel proud to do it, but get to actually design the shoe. Yeah. Imagine designing, I mean, we kind of do that with S, mm -hmm. but like, yeah, designing some new shoe that's old. Right. It, older so looking, it, right? Yeah. But right. actually making it look new. We actually got a pair right here. Whoa. You got a pair? Yep. Man, what? This is what they look like. Let me see this. Hard. This is it. Raj, you changed the camera. I was showing it off. Look. Yo, that's tight. I didn't know you had them here. Yeah, that's cool, bro. Just, Where? just got them. Yo, this looks. But they're not out yet. This is just a. Uh, a uh, little sample? No, it's not a no. sample. It's a. What are they they're going to be out gift, here When the they next... gift people yeah. and stuff like that. It's a little What's that? Promo it's eight and a half? Damn. Oh, this. I know who this is from. Uh, uh, the man in the back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But, but by the way, this is not a paid anything. We yeah. uh, DC, we'd love it if you will give throw us some bucks for this. But uh, right <laughs> we, this is just uh, right we we got them and we wanted to show them. Uh, we'll do an unboxing video for you guys. You know what I'm saying? No, I, um, what it's you, cool though. What are your What are your thoughts, Chris, or both of you? Seeing um, it in person now. It looks how the picture looks. <laughs> <laughs> Very now, descriptive. Um, I mean, look, it does look like how the picture looks. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy. It really is. Um, no, nah, they look great, bro. I think if you like skating in a little bit of a bulkier shoe, just based on the sole, because this sole is it's definitely a little bit chunkier for my taste. Dub's push on the sole, push on the bottom, but it, though. Yeah, it, it, it's, like, not, it's, it's not. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty soft, can, it's not, Yeah, it's not hard where it's like. Yeah, you know, it's not that like, it's, it's, it's a bigger shoe. It kind of, there's a little bit. Where I see like Rick Howard's shoe. Yes, I can definitely the, see that. Because the mid top, the number two, Rick Howard had mm -hmm. like a strap on it as yep. well. Sorry, if it must mean like, but like had a strap on it as well. And I kind of see the inspiration of that. And then I see the clocker sole. And I see this right here was kind of like the Van England shoe, the first one he ever had. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you they had the, the yeah, sock in it. Netted. 
Yeah. It's funny. I am not a shoe guy whatsoever. And I had said this before too, when, uh, what's the other shoe that was, um, the links, the, the links. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was like, Oh, you know what? I'd like, I never wore DCs mm-hmm. in my life, you know? And I'd Nor like to kind of have some of these throwbacks cause they're, they look, I think they look rad, you yeah, know, the links and everything, but not a shoe guy. But the first thing I do look at on a shoe is like the panels and how many, what, what, what the color, uh, yeah. options you could do. You know, I look at all the panels. I'm like, oh shit, you can put this there. With this one you can really thing. color up. Man. Got yeah, a lot, sure. of, lot of panels to work with right yeah, there. I options. love that, that that's the first colorway. It's it's like, it's not too crazy looking, right? It's not like these crazy colors. It's yeah. a lot of good, simple colors put together. It's a like tower too. They got exactly, a, right? They got a little air vent right there. I like it. That's good. That's good. Got a little mesh there. That's I'm glad that we have those here, man. And like th- that's such old, like that sole right there on the bottom. Yeah, if you look mm-hmm. at it on the very bottom, mm-hmm. like that's so DC. And I love, dude. I this is this is my thoughts on DC. You have like two different things of DC. You have that. You have like the OG style, and then you have this other side, which is like very like more classic basic type shoes mm-hmm. where it's like there's no branding on it where right. it's just like it looks like a vans or something like that right. vulcanized shoe i i personally like they're going back this way right i mean not all the shoes are going to be like that but a majority of them are and you could tell what shoe that is when you look at it when you see the kids in philly skating those shoes you're like oh those are dcs right you know what i mean yeah, 100%. But you can easily know that and it stands out so and there's they're skating really well in them yes plus when you get to a brand where you're like 20 years plus like you can start to revert back and get, get go and dig in the crates and get back those retro shoes that actually did really well back in the day because yeah. that, that that's kind of what we're doing right now anyway <clears throat> the cycle of shoes just is is coming back around again yeah. from like the early 90s uh-huh. you know mid 90s and you know i think that's just uh the evolution of anything <laughs> i mean <laughs> it like, comes back around we're bringing back the muska and the krieger for s and like people are stoked yep it's like and i don't know to, to do something new like this but make it look older is mm. is one of the coolest with a newer rider yeah is super for sure. congratulations to him man i Definitely, do bro. i do like i'm a fan of the strap i think it's missing something here though you know what i mean i think it's just there should be some type of logo there or like, some type of the reason why pattern I, or something there the reason why probably they didn't do it because of the logo on the side next to yeah. it whatever the reason is i'm yeah. sure they had a good reason for it for but i'm just saying like i maybe they're yeah because for me it's sometimes missing less something. is more though some, True. In, the, in these situations because you got boom, boom because boom. you're not when you look at the shoe though honestly you're not really looking at the strap too much you're looking at the side of the shoe when you're looking at like skating oh, and that stuff strap is just staring me right in the face right yeah. now but your pant i don't know it, you're gonna see the majority of branding you're gonna see is on the side of the shoe. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying right? is like for me, I would have I would have tried to play yeah. around. Maybe they did. Maybe they tried to play around with something, but I, yeah. something missing right there. But yeah. congrats on that. Big you know, time. Yeah. Uh, it's awesome. And it's awesome. And it's not out yet. I think it comes out in like a month or so. Uh, yeah. uh, don't hold me to that, guys. But so something like that. If you like this shoe, you support John Shanahan. Go talk to your skate shop about ordering it. Yeah. And support. Oh, him. here we go. Wait. Sorry. No, you're a Rick Howard. That's exactly. Yep. Look at that. Yep. And that, dude, I never had that. I had the, the ones a bunch of times. That was one of my favorite shoes ever. We talk about grippy. Yeah. I did, I was doing, dude, it would grip so crazy that you had to like wait like two days before it like you were consistently like doing better. kickflips. Wow. But it was one of the, I remember wearing it. It felt like I was Keith Huffnagel or Rick Howard. <laughs> like, you know, because they that's the shoes they wore, like all the footage. So. For sure. I don't know, man. Was so And Carol was skating them too. Yes, he was. That's, I don't know. That's so cool. Congratulations, yeah. man. It's awesome. Big ups. It's awesome. Yeah. DC, man. Do you want to hook us up with some shit? No. <laughs> it's, uh, no, we have them. You know, it's a whole thing. It's a whole it's thing. A whole thing. <laughs> I mean, uh, but I, do, I just don't... think it's funny because like, whenever we have something and we're looking at it, like everybody assumes it's like a paid advertisement. No. It's like, no, we're just... We're stoked on them. We got them. They're not out yet. Mm-hmm. Just check them out. Why you know, not? big Why fans not? over here. Big yeah. fans. And it's cool they had like the OG looking uh, box with it too. The shoe box. True. Yeah. yeah. So that, that ties in a lot. Damn true. Um, Damn true. Someone said like, "Oh, bring back the syntax." I'm pretty sure they brought that shoe back, but it didn't look exactly like the way it did. Anyways, sorry. Hmm. But. Huh. Holy crap! It's just like the Rick Howard. That's yeah. what Beautiful Rewind said. For yeah. sure, for sure. 
Um, one person that we're big fans of over here, and we had mentioned it at the top of the show. Also, Brian Anderson, Interpol. Is it Interpol or Interpool? Interpool. Interpool? I believe so. Interpol? So one oh, I one would oh, pull. One oh. Yeah. That's what you said? Interpol. That's what I would say, but... Interpol. Chad, is it Interpol or Interpool? <laughs> they, can, they can tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking. Come on, man. Uh, there, pole. Girl there you go. He said pole. Interpol? Okay. Pole. There pole. we go. Interpol. Uh, yeah, so Brian Anderson, Interpol, Girl Skateboards. Brian Anderson put this on his Instagram, and it's rad. He said, Atiba asked me about a year ago if I'd be into doing a board uh, with his photos of Interpol and myself. Being that we had used the song Obstacle 1 for his part in the video, Yeah Right, I said, of course. Neither I or Atiba were thinking about the fact that Yeah Right was coming up on their 20-year anniversary. Wow. wow. I remember bringing him the CD. I remember bringing uh, the CD, Turn Off the Bright Lights, to Ty Evans' apartment in Hollywood. I said to him, man, I found this uh, song of a great band. I don't think a lot of people uh, know of them yet. I really want to use this song. Ty loved it. He started editing it to it right away. Uh, I had so much footage, and it's one of the best video parts I've had. So thank you, Interpol, and their management label for your music. People still tell me this day, yeah, right, was what got them into Interpol and that genre. Uh, what an incredible feeling to piece together a video part. Also, I remember being so happy that Ty didn't show me much of the video. I love Brian. He gets so in-depth in, de yeah. in, 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 in his explanations and mm -hmm. stuff. Um he uh, he ha, ha, he had helped in a lot of skits, so I had a feel for the video. But at the premiere, I was blown away by everyone's skate footage. I had only witnessed a handful of my teammates' tricks in person. Everyone's skating was amazing. Great editing and filming. Great skits. Incredible music and skateboarding. I'm very proud to have skated so hard and worked so hard with our girl chocolate family. Here's to all the little things that make the big things happen. Mm. Seasons like that in life are priceless. It's perfectly spoken, bro. Yes. yes. Brian Anderson. His part, he put that band on the map for me, yes. especially. I think in skateboarding. For sure. Right? A, a lot that, of skateboarders, for sure. Yeah. That was in, I mean, I, that part, I, I he, fakey vera flip down the nine. Like, you could, that trick is so hard downstairs. It's ridiculous. You hardly see anyone doing that no. these days. But he's doing it on the green board they use for, like, the intro and stuff, yep. right? Mm-hmm. The invisible boards. Uh, not the intro. It was a skit, though. The it was, invisible yeah, you're boards. Right. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah. Right. It was the invisible board skit. Brian is a beast, though, bro. Always has been, always will be, man. I was the best dude ever. I was on it. That was a, a move I was surprised with when they put him on Girl. Because he was on Toy Machine. Mm -hmm. And I, what, I, it, I wasn't thinking that was going down. Right. You know another move that I was surprised uh, Rick McCrank. Yeah. Yeah. I was shocked. Sure. Even Colin McKay, when he, I was like, whoa, dude, this is crazy. But Rick McCrank really shocked me. The funny thing, too, real quick, it was about Rick McCrank. It was like he was on Platinum. Uh, then I think, it, it, I can't remember which way. It was either Plan B. And then he went to Birdhouse. He was there for a split second in the end. And then he went to Girl. Yeah. So he was like like going to all the <laughs> big brands. He was trying out everything for <laughs> yeah. a second. But yeah, Brian Anderson move for Girl was super rad. And, uh, but then now in hindsight, both of them were great additions. And they always will be. And you'll always remember them for being on Girl. Yeah, and obviously Rick is fucking killing it still, bro. So yeah. mm -hmm. big ups to Rick McCrank, bro. Yeah, but this is cool. I like I like to see these little and what a what a collab at the perfect timing All for right. twenty years. I mean, tw yeah, right. It was twenty years ago, and it still holds a flame mm -hmm. to like just skateboard. I mean, ask anybody in this chat. It was probably one of their favorite videos. Mm -hmm. you know? Oh, it's it's crazy. The it was one, a of be the one of the best videos of all times. Sure. How how crazy is it too that there's this like there's this three way collaboration on this or it's or actually a four way where it's like oh a Tebow this has photos of these dudes right. mm -hmm. and Brian Anderson and it's for girl and it's all coming out this weird exact time right because they were going to do this on their own weren't they that's what it, i thought that's what they said yeah Brian anderson and yeah. The, yeah yeah they were going to do it they just didn't realize it was 20 years yeah. oh let's all yeah. let's co collaborate right here and um perfect great, great timing yeah even though he doesn't write for girl anymore what a like that's iconic like okay i saw photos of the premiere or the the party and seeing costs in there and like good guy was there and like p rod and with rick and you're like dude that is no, that was rad. Yeah, that was really cool to see. So, yeah, 
great, great. Uh, I floated right over there right after the the last night, uh, the last uh, live. Mm -hmm. I went right over to the party because there was probably like a, maybe another hour and a half left. Well, I, I meant to say obviously it was great to see. I saw the photo of you and Atiba. Yeah, yeah. And was it Rick or who who was it? Um, I think Rick. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Very cool to see all that. Yeah. So. No, it was rad. How does that feel, dude? Twenty years ago? I can't believe it. It's crazy. Time's just flying, bro. I don't know. As you get, that, the truth is, as you get a little bit older, this shit just starts to go fast, bro. And I'm <laughs> telling you the truth. It does. I, I remember going to that premiere. Um, that my, it was, yeah. That it, there's only a handful of premieres. That you're like, oh, I was there for that one. Mm. Like, I'm proud to say I was at that. Like, just as a spectator watching it. So. Right. Cool I was reflecting on the um, the first premiere that I ever went to, which was virtual reality, and I happened to end up being in it. I was like, <laughs> mind blown, bro. Talk about like, yeah, a moment. That was my moment. Yeah, yeah. And um, Jake Rosenberg is obviously just reflecting on thirty years for virtual reality. So it's like, wow, that's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, think about how how hard it wow. is these days to make an iconic video. Yeah. It, 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 I think like that's it lost. It's, it's been <laughs> lost a little bit, you know yeah. what I mean? Just based on the times and where we're at and how we see footage, you know? Even an iconic part, yeah, for that matter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Video, yes, but iconic part, I don't know. You guys let me know in the chat, you know, in the comments, yeah. what, what the most iconic part was in the last uh, five years. Yeah, the best, best part that you can, all, people are going to talk about for the rest of time. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, every. Mm. It's Every, hard because it's generational. Yes. It's generational. Sure. Yeah. So it's hard. It's hard yeah. to say. But anyway, yeah. So shout out to Brian Anderson, yes. Interpool, yes. Atiba, Girl Skateboards, making that a little collab happen, you know? Mm -hmm. But Kelly, you were gone last week. We had Paul Rodriguez filling in. Yeah. Heavy Paul Rod. Paul, Paul, Paul was love, man. He was get a couple of beers in him. He, 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 <laughs> he loves to talk. He'll divulge oh, yeah. uh, a little bit. He talked about his McRib I love little that. deal. Fifteen grand for one post of him with the McRib. Somebody in the comments had said like something about the McRib, okay. and Paul's like, "Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me talk about this." Yes. And uh, the Gillette man. sponsorship deal. We put a highlight of of it on, on our uh, on our Clips channel, on our Nine Club Clips channel. You can't hate on that, bro. I, I'm just sorry. You cannot. Oh, yeah. I saw some comments that were hating. Yeah, and I was good. like, "How are you? Uh, that's what, are, like, what could you say? That's what could you say? That's like, why would you hate? Why would you have something to say about it? I don't know. I mean, look, yeah, dude, yeah. people you are said, just you said those words right off, dude. At the <laughs> end of the day, <laughs> fifteen grand, three three posts, like or, for seventy five grand. So twenty five grand. That was a, a Gillette. One. That was a Gillette. I'm, I'm, I'm just. And he already was shaved. He need, he saw he needed to shave right after. <laughs> You started shaving. Man. Would you shave that off for a little Jet Cl Gillette commercial? I will do it. <laughs> I'll do Dubs, it. You might have a tan line. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It'll be there for a week or so, you know, but it's all good. <laughs> I think it would be perfect for them. Uh, talk to my guy. Yeah. Talk to my manager. <laughs> we did. Um, we did talk about one thing because I do a live stream on our Twitch uh, Monday mornings. I just hang out with the chat. Yep. Sometimes I'll do a little deep dive into one of our next guests. And, um, we, we were talking about a conversation there and we talked about it on that show. It was like, what makes a skateboarder a skateboarder, mm -hmm. you know? And it was kind of interesting to hear everybody has a different kind of take on it, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, what actually truly makes a skateboarder a skateboarder. And a, a lot of the YouTube comments were great on that. It was a highlight on our uh, Clips channel. And I just want to read some because I thought some of them are really, really good. It's a great question. Yeah, and nobody was like mad. Nobody was like talking shit. It was just like everybody was like, "Wow, really, this is really." Let me think about this. Like, yeah. what actually makes a skateboarder a skateboarder? Uh, Mel Cody five fifty forty two said, "Being a skateboarder uh, is like being in love. Nobody can tell you you're in love. You just feel it." Mm. Mm. I thought that was, like, that was that's that. a dope mm, one right okay, there. I like okay. that. Okay. Uh, Mike Crook said if you look at a random ledge stairs curb rail for a br and and for a brief second you think of skating you're a skater uh chris bw9 bq yeah it's definitely in your heart you know you're a skater in your heart um so you, you know you're a skater in your heart even when you when i didn't skate for years i always had a board on deck and some skate shoes and would always put uh, pull over and to peep out spots. 
I still scope out shit. I won't even try. Just look at uh, what could be done. There you go. Uh, the great Zender said, in my 40s, in, in my 40s, skated since I was nine, lost my balance and the start of losing my hearing when I was 27. I haven't skated since, but I love and follow everything with the skate community. I consider myself an ex-skateboarder. Mm. So people even consider themselves like certain, you know, right. uh, Americans, cunt, something like that. <laughs> uh, once a skater, always a skater. That's their, that's their take on it. I think it was yeah. American sick cunt. American sick cunt. There it is. All right. All right. <laughs> Uh, this one was cool too. Uh, Ra Riva ZH8CC. Lance Mountain said it best. I think he said it on our show too. Riding a skateboard doesn't make you a skater. Not being able to stop skating makes you a skateboarder. Mm, yeah. Well, I love that. Well, that's yeah. pretty good. Uh, Miko McBrain. I skated, worked. Oh, I worked at a shop for years, but gave up serious skating to preserve my body to play drums in bands. 20 years after hanging it up, I still see spots everywhere. I call myself a recovering skater. Mm. <laughs> That's true. That's where I think if you ever start skating, you're always going to look at the world a little differently. For sure. You're always going to have that. You're totally. never going to stop looking at it like, oh, the, the little handrail right there. No. You're always going to have a little. If it looks like you like could throw some shit down on that, yeah, you can be like, man, I'm gonna take a picture. Let me send this to somebody. They might want to, you know. Yeah, totally. Uh, Hennessy C G said, if you're putting in the time, you're a skater. If you stop and life catches up with up to you and you skate maybe once a year, then you're an enthusiast now. At least that's how I see it with sports too. I used to swim and play lacrosse in high school and college. Now I don't do those sports competitively anymore, except for like two or three times a year. I'm nowhere as good or fast as I used to be. So I would consider myself, I would say I'm an enthusiast or a supporter since I do participate in fundraising for local teams. He's an athletic supporter. He's an athletic supporter. A fan. Mm -hmm. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. The enthusiast. Mm -hmm. Without saying fan. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fanatic. Fanatic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's do a couple more here. This one was uh, James Holloway, 1951. If you're still 360 flipping the TV controller, then you're a skateboarder. Oh, my gosh. True that story. is that, very true. That ain't going to oh never stop. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> right? Yeah. Man. That ain't going to never stop, for sure. Yeah. Sometimes I do it with my phone. I'm just throwing it up in like a, you know, so like true. I'm tossing a pizza. Yeah. Uh, another one here, Astral Brain 8265 if you're not skating, you're not a skateboarder. No need to romanticize the whole thing. You can still be truly passionate and supportive of the sport years after you quit, but that doesn't make you a skateboarder. I'd say you would have to skate at least a handful of times every year to call yourself a skater. I was a non-skater for 20 plus years until I picked it up again in my 40s and now I'm back in business again. So I'm saying everybody's got a different take on it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, whether it's good, bad or whatever. It's just interesting. I loved reading. I love going through. I never go through the comments. Yeah. I love going through the comments on our uh, Clips channel about that. And I just thought I'd share them with everybody because I think everybody well, has a different take on it. Keep commenting, kids. Yeah, it was all different perspectives. And you, we all knew what they were talking about. For sure. Which In is one way or another. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what's funny is like, I saw Chris Kula pointed this out. I put it on a story, which was funny. Uh, when Chris Cole was sitting here with Jamie Thomas. Mm -hmm. And Chris Cole was just sitting there, and he was like, like doing right. this little thing with his yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "That's ex I when I hear music, I'm always like doing the same exact thing, just randomly. Just like, like you're like, you're like front crook, and then like, yeah, yeah. Right. I don't know. There's always like little That's skaters funny. do totally that. I don't know. We'll never get out of my head. I'm going to read one more because I like this one. Yeah. This one's from Tripler nine six three two. Says a skater is a true. A skater is a true skater when sponsorship deals don't matter. When you're able to skate by yourself, when it's your way to exercise, and when the top elite skateboarders come to your park, you have zero care to show off. You're a skater when, you, when you're not upset at the younger generation trying to force sponsorship overnight, and there's zero style points <laughs> uh, or zero, but it's just that Instagram. Uh, you're a skater when you say... When you stay in enough shape to be able to do it and look good no matter your age, you're a skater when you care about how tricks look and that's, and that's every trick. 
<laughs> True. And uh, knowing when the stuff is done bad because you grew up on OG skate videos like Habitat America Audio. God bless skateboarders mm-hmm. who skate for the passion and not the clout. Woohoo! I don't know. I love it. I love the yeah, whole yeah. the whole topic. It was good. Yeah, Go check out our highlight channel. Go comment on some stuff. What makes you? What makes a skater skater? It's a good question. It really is. Everybody's got a different answer. Yeah, I love it. Well, some people do it just because. Well, there's a couple different ways of like expressing it like people just want to skate to skate some people want are so into it that they want to make that a part of their life mm-hmm. and that's how like you get into like the spot like getting sponsored and stuff you know yeah um i just when i first started skating it was like about being a community with your friends and getting to know people and like when you see these brands you're like oh i want to i want to meet that guy that skater mm-hmm. like if you saw your favorite pro or your skater uh you're watching videos this kid you're like I want to meet those guys. Oh, yeah. Right. You know what I mean? That's kind of like what gets you into like. I want to some skate people, for the same company as those guys. Yeah, I want to skate with them. Right. Not, not even like I want to do, try to do this big I want to pro- ride horses with them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like you want to hang out with them. They look like they're be cool you people know. to chill with. For so, sure. That's right. Yeah. But some people just skate with. They just want to do what they want to do and not. They don't want to film. And that's totally awesome. Mm-hmm. You know? But people have different outlooks on that perspective, I guess. For sure. Yeah. It was a good combo. And P-Rod had some good insight, too. It, it was rad. We had it was a nice a, conversation, it was a cool thing. It was a good one. Yeah. He was, like, wearing, like, a bunch of logos everywhere. He's like, man, it's just lame to do it when you get paid. Like, <laughs> He had his A-Shock right yeah. there. It was like, Ooh, a lot of things happening. <laughs> Paul's an anomaly, though. Oh, he really is, bro. Uh, by the way, we got the Manscaped. Whoops. Yeah, no. We got Manscaped dubs. That's how I would the, look. Uh, wow. Let's see how crazy that shit looks. But dude, that, that, I mean the lip don't look right. <laughs> <laughs> we know that that's the AI. That's stuff. AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Charlie just circled that yeah. and said, "Remove." Yeah, that's what beard. that's that's remove what I would look like. It. Goodness, bro, look pretty tight, dude. It just you know when you get used to something and you, and then something happens overnight and then like it just you just look different. This is mm. this is that moment because it you know been running this for f- how well, long, bro? We got, a, we got a manscape right here. We can figure it out. See what it looks like. Do it live right yeah. now. Let's <laughs> get it. Let's go. Live. <laughs> anyway. That was good. Charlie working his magic. It's fun to see yourself like that, huh, Dubs? Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Mm-mm. Mm-mm. "No." I think I'm. Yeah, no. I've like I've been a around longer with this thing than without this thing uh, at this point. Yeah. True, 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 true. This is a great, I love this, man. I don't love it for the, you know, no, 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 I love it, actually. What? Oh. I mean. I love it guys. when other companies steal. I don't know. It's blatant. Come it's on. insane. I don't know. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Well, listen. Yeah. <laughs> Stealing. That's th- that you steal like an artist. Yeah, that's what they say. Well, it's like you... I mean, they obviously didn't do their due diligence. I'm sorry for cutting you off right there. No, that you... was, I mean, just it just looks insane. They they didn't do their part at all, literally at all. <laughs> Yeah. They didn't ask their guy like, "Hey, can you put this through like the trademark like markings to see if this is uh, available?" Like yeah. they just went for the go. And believe me, the money behind this. This company is unbelievable. So they'll be able to handle this and get <laughs> well, it. Well, they're suing them. It. Fallen footwear suing them. Again, they'll be able to handle it and and it not be a, a dent in what they're trying to do. However, they might have to buy this logo from them. Sure. And I think that Fallen probably should take it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was, that's. I mean, that's oh, it. You, think that? you think they would buy it from them? Maybe or I mean they're, they're gonna just pay... change. They're gonna change it. Obviously, they have to. Well, the good thing is, is that but why not? It. But it's in different categories, though. Also, right. I guess it's clothing. It's clothing. Too. No, it's apparel. Yeah. Apparel. I mean, that's a, that's, that's a, that logo's a logo, dude. It's like it is what it is. It but is. The, Fallen does have Fallen an F and then they're an H. But they that's have be their argument. What they think high flyers? It's an H. That's their claim. It don't matter. Fallen footwear's to. It's know, just like F. little thinner lines, and it's lowered. The, the, it, the that does not matter. That's the same logo. Period. But they, Fallen has a, the, the regular Fallen 
name written out as a logo. So it'd be like, hey, sell them that you're the the this one, yeah, and then keep the regular fallen. No, give us a bunch of money, yeah, yeah, and change your damn logo. They, <laughs> they got a they got a lot of money for you. Yeah, it's owned by a, a Saudi company, I believe. There you so go. like they, yeah, the money's not an issue. Well, it's funny, High Flyer. So I and Phil Mickelson is like the obviously the poster boy for all for all this stuff. Mm-hmm. He probably has no clue. He right. probably had no. It's everything behind the scenes. You think right. Phil Mickelson's going through and being? He, he had probably to just have a little clue. You know, about it being about another every, about a no, skateboard no, logo? no 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 not that that's what i'm saying yes that's what i'm, I'm saying, saying in, in the designing process for sure he probably was like that looks look, cool yeah, yeah that looks cool yeah. i like that that's he's good, it's good... Ride, he's probably seen ride the sky he's probably <laughs> seen it you know what i mean i mean it's, it's good video it really but, is what's that app fiverr yeah they probably get a, fi- a fiverr a fiverr person to oh that's interesting who yeah what the, i wonder how much they paid for that logo I hate that Discord thing. We gotta turn that thing. Okay, off. I'm. So, what? What? It's a. What kind of? Com- what company is? It? Is it the golf Liv. clothing? It's a. It's basically a golf tournament that basically just hues, and they're trying to. Well, they just merged with PGA, so it's a. It's a whole new thing. But at first, it was they're trying to come in and renegade this and stealing golfers from the PGA oh. and just causing a, a, a ruckus, you know. And and like they gave these guys like hundreds of millions of dollars, like mind you to to bring them over to this new tournament it's crazy you know some of these guys got like i'd like to say 75 million dollars like crazy money to the point where all right yeah we're coming on over <laughs> <laughs> we'll steal some logos logos and we'll be over there and yeah. yeah yeah look at all of them so this yeah. is, they, these, are, these are the newest uh, fallen team writers <laughs> they should at least collab with them <laughs> fallen golf show is coming soon dude I know, right? So it's live golf, but the 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 tournament's high flyers. Is that right? What? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Phil Phil got three to four hundred million dollars, dude. No, he's like one of the biggest golfers in the game, and they paid him that type of money to come over. But it's pretty disappointing for the guys that didn't go over because now that they've merged, now the dudes that stuck hard with PGA are so bummed. They because they uh, they could have got that, oh, they could have got that, that they could have got that money too. They're dudes that didn't go with it. Yes, and oh. they were fighting hard for PGA and hating on the dudes that left, bro. And now they've merged together. Was there any idea that this might might not be sustainable though? Is that why they didn't go to PGA or there's being loyal to PGA? They were trying to be loyal to PGA, but yeah. of course I think in the back of their mind now they're salty as shit. I would be straight up like if I had a chance to get five hundred million dollars just to go to this other, like, <laughs> tournament, you know, and then mm-hmm. they end up merging with the people that I'm, you know, in business, wow, yeah. it's just crazy, bro. But I think big I, ups, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think at the end of the day, it's just funny that like you somebody blatantly copied another company's oh, logo. Yeah. yeah, like how I that there's no way that that's just a freak coincidence no i i, I agree I, I can't imagine them being like months down the road like oh shoot that that one logo looks exactly the same like they had to have known beforehand yeah. or so or ordered but that's what i'm saying who did that logo is it that just a hired help is it just somebody that's on their team like who did you. that <laughs> maybe it was the fallen designer hieroglyphics it was fallen designers like a double dip here I'm that's why i'm saying that, it, <laughs> that that live is so big that i they, i know that they don't care it almost seems like ah oh, this is whatever how do we pay to get this oh, yeah. show away yeah. like a million but at the end, at the end of the day too it's like you know fallen isn't owned by jamie thomas anymore fallen mm. is owned by uh, a company in argentina people mm. in argentina they own it so mm. they're going with them but chris you know chris cole skates from they got uh, billy marks but they got a whole team over there Anyway, funny to see. Dude, yeah. we'll see. We'll, we'll we'll keep you guys posted where that goes. We'll, we'll, we'll follow it closely and see where the. Uh, we'll see where it goes, man. We'll yeah. see what the. Because uh, it's got to be public. If they're suing them, it's got to be like public. What what that course case? Or maybe they could settle out of court too, and keep it keep it all For hush sure. hush. For sure. Dude, what like what a perfect person to sue or uh, organization to sue? The one of the richest things. And you are in the and they're blatantly in the wrong. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Like, oh yeah, they offered Tiger eight hundred million. Okay, well, I'll you almost a billion dollars <laughs> to come rock with us. Tiger didn't take it. No, well, he's that's what I'm guy. saying. Now, but Tiger is the most paid player in the right. game, so whatever. Right, 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 right. But dude, think about like you know some of these other cats that could have got you know a hundred million dollars to come over. Ooh. Like what the fuck are we talking about? Yeah. Listen. Goodness. Well, there's um, there's another logo that's pretty yeah there similar. there oh, are yes. similar similar not exactly a blatant rip off but very similar. 
Uh, this is the new issue, actually. Oh, this is the wrong slide. This is the wrong slide. There this it is. This is the new issue that's coming out. It's dropping today. It's my new pro shoe. No, this is um, Steph Curry's company's logo. Yeah, and that looks very similar to an S logo. And I get tagged a bunch on it, and so does S. And, like, there's a little difference to it, but you just look at it, and we're so ingrained with a skateboarder yeah. seeing that logo that we're like, whoa. Mm -hmm, but it's totally. like, I guess it's so close. Look, I mean, it's pretty close. I mean, the red, if you have them in black, yeah. it's pretty. Yeah, if you look at it real like real quick and being like you know, and especially if it's on a shoe. And to me, on a, a to a me distance, on a shoe, it, it, it's it's closer than just on on paper. Yeah, you know? I hear what you're saying for sure. Like, but on a shoe, I could easily glance at that and mistake that for an S shoe. Hundred percent. Exactly. I never seen that shoe before. Like, what? Like you saw it at a skate shop, you would be like, "Oh, dude, S came out with a new like runner." What? Yeah, but then I would have to like look at it closely and be yeah. like, "Wait a minute, but this is an S logo." But it, it's it's close. It's, it's close. very close. And I but I don't think I don't think S has a a lawsuit to stand on by, with this. Well, it's just no. it's just a the fallen ones ridiculous. Oh yeah, that's that's that's, that's hands down. That, they got some. When we saw that, it's just like I remember when this came out when they launched the shoe brand with Steph, and I was like, uh, I'm not mad at it. Like you know, you're just like, wow, that's crazy close. Yeah. See, a lot of people yeah. in the chat are saying it's not close at all. It's not close at all. Uh, I mean, come on, dude. It, like we're not saying it's exact in any no, way. No, no, it's yeah, not yeah. exact. No, yeah. again, like you're, when you're glancing at a shoe and you like, double take, they, wait, and then you're like, okay, maybe that's that's not it. But they damn there look like they they tried to get it. It's, it's similar. It's, it's similar. Sim we there's, just think it's inspiration there. Yeah, I wonder if they. Uh, I, I mean, like, I wonder if these people are even looking at these other logos that are existing. Listen, already. Like, what's up with the accent? Yeah, okay. exactly. That too, right? Mm -hmm. Like that is the part where it stands, and it's like that cursive look to it. Right. So it's just a bunch of elements, a part of that logo that looks similar to the S one. It's his uh, SC, Stephen Curry. Anyway, it's interesting. Um, yeah. I don't know. It, it, I think it, I just think it's funny. It's coincidence. I, I often think that like a lot of the outside companies, the outside world looks at skateboarding for inspiration. I remember back in the day, um, all the skate videos, the music, mm -hmm. and then I, and then like, Right after the skate videos would drop, not too far after they would be in commercials, yeah. oh, and I'd be like, sure. "They use that song. No How did they have? <laughs> they have that's the exact song that was in that skate. How yeah. did they? Yeah. Yeah. And it's kind of not like a popularized song. It's just kind. Of, some of them are kind of obscure. Some of them are like the you know the good feeling those yeah. moments, and then mm -hmm. now they got it in a good feeling moment in a commercial. Exactly. Yeah. I think people people watch our they people definitely watch our industry. Well, it's it's, it's they interesting. Definitely watch our industry. No it's interesting where and we kind of see it on our show, like when people watch our show, like oh yeah, I work at whatever agency. That's what I was just gonna say. Yeah, they, yeah, those like, people are skateboarders. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. it's it's cool that they're trying to merge that into you know the society wholeheartedly because they they felt something they're like you know what that might fit for this right let me let me push this forward to to johnny the the, the yeah, music yeah. director for this video yeah. commercial or whatever the case you know totally 100 percent. yeah skateboarders man ruling gonna, we're all ruling the world straight man. up <laughs> straight up that's right yeah. that's right speaking of uh skateboarders and opening stuff up there was a. Uh, F.A. F.A. opened a bar and store in Seoul, South Korea. It's open. It just opened uh, today, I believe, or yesterday. Wow. Or the 16th, which is today over there. It's tomorrow, but it's today over here. But it's tomorrow over there, but it's today doors here. Open, guys. Yeah, it's, it's open. open. Doors are open. It's open. Okay. So, yeah, if you're in... What you say it was in Seoul? Seoul, Seoul, Korea. Wow. I mean, like... Pretty impressive. I, I, I was wondering... Why? Okay, you have one in LA, you have one in New York mm -hmm. shops. Like, what was the deciding factor of going to Seoul? Was it South Korea? I think a lot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A lot of people. No, it's definitely not North Korea. A lot of, lot of, lot of. Uh, there's a lot of movement happening in South Korea. A lot of stores. Yeah, are no. Opening. There's a lot of, a lot of movement definitely happening. Like you just said, um, even Melbourne Golf is out there. They have a lot of stores out there. I think they're just trying to capture. Um, these new brands that have this energy that are on the on the on the rise and obviously f fucking awesome has been doing their thing for a while right. so i think um 
it is a little left field, but this this, this look look at the amazing, bro. It's, yeah. it's pretty. It's pretty dope. Wow. You have to admit, like, look at it at night too. Yeah, man. Imagine how fun that must, must have been. A lot of like intense work from Dale and his team, but to be able to design like not just like a store, but like the outside of it, Dude. and to do a, a bar. Yeah. Is the bar? I'm sorry. Is uh, it connected? Is the, are they connected? That's where I'm know. trying to like. I have no idea. Yeah. I mean, literally, this is just kind of like what we're getting on Instagram. Yeah. You know, it's what they're posting. Um, Ave posted a video of kind of the opening. I'm so sick. I'm surprised by the bar. I'll tell you that. Yeah, this is third. Uh, it goes hand in hand, you know what I mean? To a degree. I mean, we've been seeing some skaters go out. I mean, over years, people going skating out there. There's good spots. Mm -hmm. Like we saw. Uh, Jamie Foy and all those guys out in that zone mm -hmm. recently. There's a, a flat bar on the big fat flat bar, I think, that goes oh, yes, into that yes, bank. Yes, That's mm. out in Korea. Um, A.O. Sykes said, uh, I think the bar's downstairs, store's upstairs. That could make sense. Hmm. If you know, you know. Got to pass by the merch when, <laughs> once you're hammered yeah. to leave. On your oh, way yeah, out. Buy a little, uh, little tea. <laughs> what, museum. Where, uh, have you been to Korea? Any of you guys been to Korea? Nope. I've never been. No, 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 no. I'd love to go, man. I've seen, there's some amazing skater from there it's got jason Choi. he's super sick um that's it's cool that this is only making the skate scene Huge. better yeah be, bigger and better out, out there so congrats to dylan that big third man. and ave and all the one third store third amazing. store one here in la new york and now south korea i, I mean dude, man as a if i owned a business it, opening a store right now sounds pretty crazy. I, I, I was just gonna say, I was just gonna say that, bro. It's like very scary based on the retail aspect right now. I know, I'm not gonna say I know for a fact that they're struggling in that sense because I'm not, I, I can't, I can't know that. But I know that it's, it's hard in retail right now. So it's like basically illegal to like shoplift now. And that go too. in and grab what you want. They that don't too. Even fucking do anything. That too. Yeah. So, a lot of those uh, big corporate companies are just letting stuff fly. You hmm. know, dudes are walking out with plenty of things. <laughs> See them wa walking out with the uh, iPhones, and yeah, they just start pulling them off the. Yeah. It's like well, okay, what are weird. they doing? All right, <laughs> they've got like trackers in there but, and stuff like that. But big ups, dude. That's pretty amazing. The store looks, I mean, incredible. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. not like you just open a store. You open a beautiful yeah store and that took with some like, time. It's art. It's that's the way that the brand is. Right. So. And also, uh, along with that, hockey, you know, it's um, they got John Fitzgerald. He just came out with the Out There. Uh, you guys got to go check it out. It's really good. It's kind of like documentary style thing that um, they did on John Fitzgerald. He skates for hockey, obviously same umbrella, uh, but knee surgery, uh, mental health struggles, um, his new fighting. He's uh, doing boxing, boxing and stuff like that to help with uh, all that stuff. Donovan Piscopo, Ave has some words in there. It's a really, really, really cool piece. I love his artwork there. It's like backwards. Mm -hmm. He draws, instead of drawing the black lines, he outlines them so it shows up. Uh, with, oh, yeah. It's like the negative space. The negative space. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see that? Look yeah. That. No, this piece really was sick. super cool, man. I... I kind of related to him a bunch, not not in the gnarly spots of these skates, but just more about when you're going through these, like he's going through all these surgeries, mm -hmm. and it might be one of the toughest things as a skateboarder when you're going through injuries, but also like you love it so much that you miss skateboarding, oh, but yeah. also it's your job, and that's like what it's. I remember my injuries, like my uh, breaking my ankle or my foot, thinking like I remember my ankle split off sideways, and you're like, I'm never. This is might be it. Yeah. And in yet, that in that moment, for yeah, sure. Yeah, and it's, I mean, I totally related to what he was going through, and it's also cool. You don't get to see him too much on the personal side. Right. You see clips every every now and then when he has parts. You don't get to see nothing from nobody on the personal side for the most yeah. part, you know, I mean, and it's rad to see it so in-depth, you know, where you're just like, wait, I, I can relate to this dude on mm -hmm. so many levels. Yeah, well, unless you're, you're like a YouTuber or something. Yeah. Probably, but there's stuff yes, out there like that. Exactly. But. And that's what, like, F.A. And, and hockey, their writers are, there's, it's just like straight, raw, great skateboarding. Yep. And you don't see this personality out too much no. out there, right? No. 
Um, and just to be put yourself out there with the, you know, the, your mental health struggles and what you've gone through. It, it's, it's, you know, it's tough, man. But they do a great job. You know, um, True Grits, Santa Cruz, they do yeah. a phenomenal they job. Do. They definitely do. Thrasher's doing a great job with this, these out there's. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. It's nice to see as a skater what somebody else goes through personally. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. you, you don't know what somebody else is going is dealing with on a daily basis mm -hmm. you know outside looking in everything's fine totally you know you don't know and it was cool like cause sometimes you might not be aware of what's going on in your own life and he's like like about how you feel like he was saying that one of the first signs is that you couldn't sleep mm -hmm. you know like he's like there's signs you could look into of like maybe something's wrong i need to get help and look right. into it right um but it's 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 a tough thing to share with people too. For sure. So like, dude, thank you for putting this piece out there and um Yeah, a day in the life that's like you know, it's almost like very raw where he, like again he's speaking very true to himself where, you know, a lot of these day in the lives are more like, you know, this is this is where I live and this is what <laughs> yeah. I'm doing. Day in the lives have changed. You know? yeah. yeah. You know, where, you know, this definitely is a little bit more of a deep dive and him really expressing himself. And yeah. one of the crazy things too is that he kind of came up in a way, it was early internet stage, but like he grew up getting sponsored by people watching him on the One in a Million show. Mm. So that was a, a big thing. And he won. I believe he didn't, Roger, didn't he win? I think so. I think he won. I think he did. Yeah. And Chat, please. Yeah. I, I, I watched those when I was young. I mean, I, we're kind of the same age. I might be a little older. Mm. But I was like, damn, these kids are just like, having a sponsor me tape live put out there they're all battling i liked it dude yeah it was kind of like reality tv meets like thrasher and these skaters yeah it's where, where we first caught, caught a glimpse with forrest edwards yeah mm. yeah yeah reynolds eats fruits yeah and um it was it it was a cool thing i think it was only what two they only did two of them or something like that did I know did a bunch. Did it a did bunch? They, did they yeah. really? Yeah, uh, Tom K. I don't know why it. that that maybe this was the season that stuck out because it was. I think Forrest really stole the show. Right. When it came down to that mm -hmm. one million. We're still working on that, right? I don't know. Maybe I don't remember. But I mean, to see where he's gone, and it was cool to hear about like the whole hockey story about how they created the brand based off those two who were friends since they were like little. That's amazing. Here's one in a million right here. Look how young they look. Damn. <laughs> Damn, um, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> that's like, yeah, that's. He's uh, in pawn shop, everything. Yeah. It's We're, cool. He's yeah. doing well. I, I love to see it. And after all the knee surgeries as well, too. Yeah. I was going to say, too, a, uh, if John, if you need a uh, jump rope, I got you, dude. There you <laughs> go. There you Cause go. I saw, dude, hey, the him boxing thing. That that'll take a lot off your mind, especially if you're hurt and you're oh, trying yeah. to get back in. That's a great way to keep your mind and That's your right. body in shape. Mm -hmm. So, good stuff, man. Definitely, bro. Take him up on that, John. He's, he's never offered me a jump rope. I'll get you one, Chris. I would yeah. love to see you use it. I'll do jump rope. I'll do, <laughs> do little cross things. I'll do jump rope. I'll do little cross things. I'll go backwards and forwards. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I'll get you one then. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> I'm not ready for one yet. We're gonna. No. <laughs> dubs, we're gonna you let me know when you want. I'll let you know. All right. right. <laughs> Gotta get you on that dubs jump. I we're gonna get both you guys. Jump, on jump, jump, jump around. Jump. I know it seems jump, very. Like, jump around. Yeah. I feel like you'd be hella around. good too. I'm sure I'll be all right at it. That's for sure. But yeah, I gotta yeah get my endurance back to the point where I feel like I gotta get back on my bike rides. My oh. bike rides are my like that. That was what's really like getting me going. You know what I mean? So I feel like that is a great way to be not like it's a lot of cardio mm -hmm. but you're not like destroying your body right if that makes it like, yeah, like yeah. Imp impact wise totally and i think that dude, I, I know Chico, the jump rope i know the jump rope is no joke bro really yeah, i mean you have, i have, i can do it for a long time but like i see chico out doing the bike thing mm -hmm. it's hard i mean if you're going long rides like that, that that's pretty gnarly dude totally. i mean i'm not going on like not like long rides i go on like a nine mile ride and i'm good and i do that in like a good 45 50 minutes Ooh. straight you know and i think that's good for for what i'm trying to do to where you know later down the line maybe i could go on something longer you yeah, know but yeah. that's just like my threshold at the moment peloton if you want to keep up on this you know trying to 
win these races, man. I know. Oh, yeah. I mean, you better, you better yeah. keep those. You better start running. I've, I've noticed that. <laughs> you better keep those calves in order. I, I almost like have to like retract of what, my, what I was saying because I'm feeling it, bro. I'm like, okay. my knees, I'm okay. like, am I really starting to feel this right now, bro? You raced your son the other day and you're like, man. I'm I know, I can beat my son. He, he, <laughs> he ain't going to beat me anytime soon. That's for sure. Hey, hey, son, you want to race? Yeah, he, he, he ain't going to be able to mess with you know me until gonna, he's like 12 or something. There's going to be that day. I know you, your kid beats you. I man. know, but until yeah. then, I'll be like, "You can't beat me." Oh, that's amazing. Shout out to YouTube at the moment. YouTube is running wild with the donations. Twitch mm-hmm. is stagnant over there. Uh, not with the donation, but you know, I mean, like, you got a couple of little chatters over here. But <laughs> uh, Stumpy Mason, member for fifty-one months. Man, we love Stumpy. Man. Oh, oh gee, have, oh. A, have a great show, guys, with the heart. Thank you, Stumpy. Appreciate you, Stumpy. Uh, Fran with the Canadian $11. Quick reminder to, t- to the chat. Father's Day is Sunday, June 18th, 2023. Call your dad, father figure, guardian, and let them know you appreciate them. Amazing. Good stuff. Sandy Hoy with the $10. Thank you. Adventures in skateboarding at 40 plus with the five gifted memberships. Thank you for that. Let's go. Uh, Fran with the Canadian $5.50. If we're talking golf... We need to lower shipping prices to Canada for flavored teas. Hey. USPS is fifteen dollars. Fix that. I am sorry. Man. Shipping's tough. It shipping. is flavored, flavored Especially teas. Now. For even for a business to set up shipping is like very tough. The flavored tea picks. Uh, and also oh. Tilt Skateboard Shop, brand new, brand new uh, platinum member. Whoa, platinum! Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Mike Fakes, we see you over there, man. Mike, Mike Fakes. Fakes is over there giving uh, fake bits. <laughs> sick thanks dude listen we um skater of the year oh wait wait, wait. skater of the about? year yeah oh okay i was like we were talking about that already but yes still going strong Tyshawn, supreme yeah. and hardy's did a collab um and we'll get into the, the they released a some of their clothing here capsules you know, is this capsule. the first capsule that they've done with hardy's or is this the second one I was question. gonna. I was gonna say this might be the most authentic collaboration Supreme has almost ever done. They're back in there, dude. Well, this he is a little kid that grew up yeah. like at Supreme. Yeah, and now he's doing this brand. Like, like it's amazing. And and Hardee's is it's doing, a bolt. It's a bolt company. It's a bolt yeah. company. Yeah. yeah, and it's now their dudes skater of the year. Yeah, and they're doing a collab. Twice. It's from yeah twice, and it's like a brand out of New York. Yep, like. Congratulations, big that, t- big yeah. time, bro. Yeah, because yeah, they don't just collab with like just some boat, some random boat company. Yeah, you know, it has to make sense, and obviously that's their guy. There's a story. Why wouldn't they? There's a story behind this collab. Yeah, you know, which a lot of times, and I'm probably speaking for a lot of companies out there, there ain't no story behind no collabs. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, like, hey, they're just you? doing it just yeah. to do it and turn over a couple bucks because it's cool. You know, majority yeah. of the time, yes. You know what I'm saying? Hundred percent, man. You know, listen, anybody out there wants to do a collab with us, we're down. <laughs> <laughs> we're down. You know Super anybody, down. Saying, anybody, anybody, go dumb. ahead. I'm just saying, dubs, come on, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. There is, I, you know, I, I like collabs better when there is something behind it. There's a little story, you know? Yeah. I've been watching the old videos of like seeing Tyshawn as a little kid with Dill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, they're at the blubba spot and he's just there and yeah. it's like, what? He's so tiny. That story is very, uh, yeah relevant in this sense yeah but this was their demo that they had it was a little little uh was it a de- i guess it was a demo a little skate jam a little skate jam out there uh got some cool stuff out there dude it was cool this is uh this video was put together by zuber zuber on youtube's always Get throwing it. all the instagrams together and making a little edit out of it so there you go. There you go. Well, I love how they built that tall Supreme Ledge. And it's like, oh, we'll build this for Tyshawn. Cause... Yeah. <laughs> and too many people going to be getting down on yeah, this. Yeah. You know, but I mean. Besides like some it. of the basic stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, it's. Even he ollied over it right here. Or <laughs> one of the clips. He back, dude, back, back nose, nose blood. It looks taller than the table. How definitely. tall is this? That's definitely taller than the table. Yeah. That's a normal size table. Yeah. Like a sure. regular table. Sure. No seats. Might be higher. It could be. There's some tall tables out there, too. There's three sizes. There's a small, medium, and large. <laughs> Usually everybody skates the medium ones. Yeah, but the large ones are large. The large ones yeah. are large. Those are meant for us to sit in. They, we could fit our legs under there, <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. 
Yeah. Medium ones, not so much. Small ones, hell no. Uh, let's get into this. Let's look at this collection a little bit, a little bit more. So yeah, it's a bolt Hardy's Bolt Company. I don't know if they. I don't know if they really. Hardy's Hardware. Hardy's Hardware. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Mm-hmm. They made a uh, look at that little thing little for your in- Nog Champa. Little, little incense holder. Little, little Nog Champa That's incense. That's actually kind of tight. Oh, so wait, it's the bolt that with the fist holding the incense. Yeah, but like, the tray is to catch all catch the ash. ash. You never had Nog Champa incense? No. Oh, I mean, you gotta go down to the local, time. go down to your local market, get some Nog Champa. <laughs> okay. And light it up. There you, know, you go. Like, you know the Nog Champa. You already know. They sell it at a lot of liquor That's stores. Right. No. Uh, What's it called? The, Nog Champa? Nog, Nog Champa. The <laughs> chat knows. Come on, chat. Come on, chat. Y'all know. Come on, chat. Right. Y'all know about the Nog Champa. <laughs> They're so new every Come day. Come on, chat. <laughs> Got the boards here. Supreme Get collab them. boards. The one, col- one Supreme collab board set went for like 800 grand. Remember that? Which board was that? The it was like a whole. One? It was like a whole. Oh, the collection. Collection. Yes. Somebody had a whole yes. collection of boards. Let's see what else we got over here. Got the Supreme Bolt. Mm-hmm. That's a good packaging. Yeah. Wonder how much is super dope. How much does a Supreme Bolt <laughs> like package Hardy's bolt go package? for? Just one bolt. I want the red one. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say. I'm gonna go ahead and say seven ninety nine. You think so? Yeah. Why not? Look, look that up, JC. How much is a Supreme Bolt? Uh, Supreme Hardware. Uh, Supreme. If, they, if they're really Hardy's trying to sell hardware. them for like fifteen, twenty dollars, you bugging. I'm saying ten. What's the resale value? I said, I said, I said, what? Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Let's go. <laughs> but, uh, what's it called? Price is right. Is this? Is this? Price? <laughs> How far are we off? Has this did, and did I go over? <laughs> <laughs> Has this dropped yet? Do we know? No, it's I, not out yet. It's not out yet. Damn! I really want to know. Like that sticker alone with it is probably like forty bucks. Yeah, <laughs> bro. If if any people buy forty dollar bolts. You're bugging. No, right? it's just a sticker. I don't care if it says Supreme or just fucking a sticker. whatever. You are bugging. Let's see what else we got here. No, but it's good. You know, it looks mainly like uh So know. we don't know yet. All right. So we'll find out soon enough. We'll keep you. We'll chat. We'll keep you all you guys. Oh, but no, people are saying it's eight. So I'm right. Eight bucks? $7.99. They said it's out. Oh, JC. It's $7.99, bro. But it's on Stock X. Are you kidding me? Hold on, bro. How much is on Stock X? <laughs> eight bucks. Buy for seventy eight. You got your fucking. That's seven, seventy eight bucks. That's some stupid. That's yeah, some like no, no, no. That is, nobody's bidding. Out. Nobody's bidding on that. The shit. bolts are eight bucks. All right, so I'm right. <laughs> cool. And ten dollars to ship them. Let's go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Come on now. That's tight. There's only so much you're gonna pay for some bolts, you know. You know Eight dollars is pushing it as it is. You, you know what I mean? Well, the bolts, like, who's you're not? Are you a supreme collector buying the bolts? I mean, I guess you are. You put them in your collection of. Supreme I mean, fine. Bro. You could be a collector. They still should be eight dollars. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason. How much? No reason. Well, okay. No reason. I don't um, think it should be over five dollars. Well, no, yes. I, I, that's why I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt. All right, Supreme, we'll give you an extra three dollars on those. Well, but, I was just about to say, like a regular, like a shorty's bolt pack is what four dollars in the store, three dollars. Uh, so okay. double it. There but you I know. think the there most the most uh, expensive thing probably in that is the packaging. Sure. Right. Maybe that's the way I'm looking at it. Possibly. Like, yeah. Like the bolts are standard. They're, they're standard bolts. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you think? They're Allen or, or Phillips? It actually came out today. Oh, it came out today? today. Oh, here we go. Those are Allen. They have to be Allen. But, yeah. I mean, a lot of people are starting to use... Uh... Yeah, yeah are you... it's an Allen, Allen. Yeah. It, it, it includes an Allen wrench, thank God. Ten nuts and ten bolts. Okay. Extra bolts. It's got extras two, in there. Two of them. It's got extras, does. Oh, so if you want to do, like, you don't want to use the red ones? Yeah. Yep. There you it, go. It does come with 80 two. cents a bolt. There you go. That's crazy. I mean, that's crazy. Their margins on that is phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it really is. Well, listen, they have to have good margins because yes. they're losing some money over you, there. You right. just hit the nail yeah, on the using, head, bro. They're losing some money over there at Supreme, you know. And it's interesting because uh, let me let me get this uh, little little picture here going for you guys. Boom. Supreme revenue and profits fall. As streetwear cools off, that's their take on it. This uh, Instagram account that we saw this in, uh, basically, 
The New York-based streetwear giant Supreme generated revenues of $523.1 million. <laughs> That's chill. Let me, let, me, let me turn this off and let me, so you can see my face. $523.1 million for the year ended in March 2023. But they're down. From five hundred and sixty one point five million, that's thirty eight million dollar that 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 they're down. Oh yeah. my goodness. Uh, for the same period last year, uh, according to their parent company VF Corp's annual report. Uh, the net income so that's gross. Net income, which would they how much money they make Made. from that mm -hmm. is sixty four point eight million, down from eighty two million. Ooh. So they're already so they're down. Yeah. Man, um, that's that's a sad day, I guess. Bro, are you kidding me? You guys are still winning no matter yeah. what. I mean, I know the shareholders are a little bummed at the moment because of, you know, them investing in this probably what, two, three years ago in 2020, something like that. Um, uh, hopefully yes. they rebound, you know what I'm saying? But bro, if, this is the most phenomenal thing ever. This is a skateboard brand that we're talking about that yeah. has evolved to a half a billion dollar company. In October, 2017, James Jebbia, the owner of Supreme, sold the significant stake in the company of rough, rough, roughly 50% for $500 million to a private equity firm, the Carlisle Group. 2020, they then sold it to the VF Corp for $2.1 billion <laughs> in December. They're winning, bro. The VF Corp owns brands including Dickies, North Face, Vans, Timberland, et cetera, et cetera. And VF Corp was having and some problems recently. mind you, this was a cash deal, two point one billion cash deal. Wow. VF Corp bought out the investors of the Carlisle, Carlisle Group and Good Partners LLC, as well as a founder James Jebbia. According to VF, Jebbia will continue to manage the business. That was in twenty twenty. Yes. Yeah, I mean that's great. If if you could have him still managing things, you have to have that. Totally. You switch that. I mean, no, they they don't want to jump out the window yeah. and not have like at least some sensibility of where this has come from. You need that dude you need in the this heart. transition. You need the heart of it, Yes, right? yeah, for sure. And it. yes, it's not skater-owned anymore, but look at what a skateboarder has done. You know, this, <laughs> he, he, bro, this is like the, the dream in a sense. That's you know an what I'm interesting look. That's an interesting take on it, you yeah. know? It's like um, when we have, I don't know, it's like, Yes, a lot of people maybe don't like Supreme, mm -hmm. right? For what they stand, what, what they're doing. And, you know, it's just kind of like the... Well, it's mainstream, the, the ma like... Yeah, right, yeah. right. But you have to look back and be like, damn, they look what a skateboarder did. Yeah. And look at the like, people they're supporting, too. Well, for yeah. 100%, I mean, yeah. it was founded in 1994, yep. Supreme. They opened their first shop in um, New York, 1994. Mm -hmm. They have over, they have 15 stores right now all over the world. So... Yeah. I know. Listen, hate all you want. If I owned, if I was gotten, uh, listen, bro, yeah. I was come on now. Mr. Jebbia, I'd be like, yo. Well, I was. I went to Chicago uh, for SLS, and I were like, oh, let's meet. I was with Jimmy and all the judges. We're like, oh, let's go to Supreme. And I personally don't really go over to Supreme because hey, it's on the other side of town. Mm -hmm. That's far. You don't want to wait in line. I don't, and I don't want to wait in line. <laughs> and so I went over <laughs> to this. I was like, so we're gonna have to wait in line, and. The security and I was I was like joking to Mike Mo right before and security's like oh yeah you guys gotta wait in line there's no one there but he's waiting in line and the people inside saw us they're like no 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 come on come on in. and I was fair. like stoked that they were so open like open like come on in dude it's all good yeah. and uh, I thought that was rad because I've always thought of Supreme as being like this kind of like I'm too cool for you guys mm -hmm. type shit no but they hire skateboarders yeah so yeah, yeah, the skateboarders yeah. Javier Nunez the... well ha he's always been super yeah. cool. But you know you, that they have yeah. like they were known back then for that, it. That, that's that, what right. they do. Yeah, like yeah. that's that's a part of it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like whether or not that they are trying to do that or not, that's a part of it. I think a lot of companies. I mean, a lot of shops that were kind of boutiqueish, kind of Rub actually followed way. their kind of pattern like that. They were just kind of like standoffish when you walk in, mm -hmm. like no help, really kind of like what the hell are you doing here type mm -hmm. of kind of vibe. You yeah. know? And as you see, that doesn't work for everybody. No, yeah. no, no, no. Really, really <laughs> kind of unfriendly, like, oh God, maybe I should get out of here. But they make good, like, I mean, people are buying it, man. But they make yeah. high quality gear. Yeah. And they're, they, they do the, do they make a brick? 
At I mean, one point, come on, they can make anything and it's gonna sell. They made a freaking pinball machine. I was like, yeah, that, that would be pretty. My tight. buddy uh, Joey Hafner ended up buying one of those. He got <laughs> ended up hooking, it, getting, getting hooked up, and he ended up reselling that thing crazy, bro. So he invested in it, in it to sell it. Wow. But that was a, a mean investment, like right. Yeah. But he knew that he was gonna be able to sell it. Yeah. So. Well, well, so. They're down now. Pre- and, and I was going to say, previously, the company had projected Supreme to generate revenues of $600 million last year. Oh. And, but they're down. They're down $38 million. And it's just interesting because, like, man, that's a... Like, you would think, like, that's a lot of money, $38 million. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. But I lost $38 million. Yeah. But... Yeah, but you have to... You didn't lose it. Not, right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you're that's, just down. You're just, you're just down. You right. Know Instead of making... Five hundred sixty-one million. You made three five hundred twenty-three million. Right. Well, it's it's also Which funny too. We're like people are like, oh, they're down. Supreme's down. I'm like, yeah, so are you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, majority of people in this. Yeah. Are like, what are we no. talking about, bro? <laughs> like, they're not. They're actually not down. They're winning. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, don't don't get twisted, bro. Like, they, they yeah. are winning. I, they didn't again, meet expectations. Exactly. They didn't meet expectations. Their, pro- their right. projections based on what they were, you know, leading towards. It didn't get that. But like, think about what's happening in the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Yeah, they're I mean, lucky they did that. Yeah, and you know those. Uh, is that, that's the Chicago location, right? I think so. I believe so because it was super rad. Um, uh, cool Molio, the guy who did uh, Cool Molio account hmm. um, on Instagram. He's the manager there. And he's super so, cool. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I was what? When I hear stuff of people losing money like that. I'm like, man. Hopefully, like people that like work there don't get like people getting laid off. Not or losing like, money though. They they yeah, just didn't meet the expectations. No, yeah. they were they were still up. What sixty eight million? What was uh, it? But for but for a big company, a big corporation company like VF Corp, like that's they're not just being like, oh well, maybe we'll do better next year. Yeah. Like they're, they're like, like we're going better next year. They're. <laughs> Tripping? No, yeah. of course they. I, I, I mean, if I made that investment for two point one billion, and three years later there's a dip, of course you're going to be alarmed. You know, right. as as I think any investor would. But they're going to be okay. I, I truly think, believe that. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they got it. They got a. You know, San Francisco, Paris, London, Milan, Tokyo, a bunch of places uh, over there. Then they um, just open one in Germany. Like I mean, they're opening more uh, stores, stores everywhere, bro. I went to one in Japan. It was super cool too. But yeah, yeah. they got the way have three in Japan. There's one in Osaka. There's one in Shibuya. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Nag- Nagoya. Nagoya. Fukuoka. <laughs> Haj- Harajuka. Harajuku. 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 Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, I was. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, yes. Uh, 2019, the collection of Supreme decks, a collection of Supreme of every Supreme deck. Sold for eight hundred thousand dollars. Damn, that's nuts. The person was putting in some work right there, man. Yeah, that's an it investment is. right there from the beginning. Yeah, well, right? there you go. Yeah. There you go. Supreme. They're well, down. Yeah, but they ain't. No, they are not out by any means. <laughs> no, <laughs> they are big chilling. It is like when you go to these skate shops, or yeah, I have Supreme skate shop. You buy skate shit there, whatever. It's a boutique, but. The, it's all skaters that work there. For the that's part. the thing you that's know, super dope. Yeah, that's right? why I, we feel welcomed when we go there. Yes, is because we're like, oh, skate. Yeah, they, they know what's up. Yeah, oh, cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, hopefully they'll do better next year. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully they can get. I, I, hopefully they can get their numbers up next year. And it sucks. Like it's almost Goodness. like we're joking about it. You know what I mean? We're like, oh yeah, but then it's like, hey, dude, no, like this is. We, this sucks. It, yeah, it it does. Yeah. But think, when, when we're talking about half a billion dollars, bro, like, come on, man. Yeah, you guys are gonna be all right. You you guys will be all right. Yeah. <laughs> did you went to the the party here, right? Where? Uh, in the Supreme one when it opened. I didn't get to go. Oh, no. you didn't go? Oh no, the party. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I didn't go to the opening. Excuse me. Okay. I okay. did go to the party, and they know how to throw some parties and. Everybody there was there. It was, like, it was like a mini reunion. It was catching up with like a lot of familiar faces that I hadn't seen, and they live literally right over the hill. So, um, no, it was a rad situation. So, yeah, they know how to throw parties. That's for sure. Yes, they do. There's me and Jerron getting getting ready. Jerron's gotten on his bike run, yeah. bike bike ride, and I'm no, jump, I can still run. Broken. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. But I'm just saying. I'm like, since I said that, I'm like, damn, I'm starting to feel my knees a little bit. It's I right, still dude. run. I still got it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But what, you, is that your son Chris, in the background trying to race you? Like the oh, little yeah, guy, he's, little he's guy. way in the back. <laughs> he got, he's, yeah. I have to give him like a 15, 20 second head, head start. Chris, I didn't know you, you were 
damn, you've been working out. <laughs> Jacked, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that's like this that's dude's just, chiseled over here, bro. Right. You but, already know. Like, yeah, the just the look of your guys' faces when you're working out is good. It's yeah, it were, it's a mellow vibe. Yeah. It's a mellow vibe. It's like know? we caught you off guard. And you guys tradi- are just jump roping and biking right next to each other on the racetrack. And, you know, jump roping hurts my hands, so I got to wear my little gloves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? There you go. There hurts you go. Hand, I got to wear my there little gloves. Go. We got to get you a cross rope, though, dude. You can't even wear that. I'm sorry. Yeah. They never offered me anything, so. All right. Gotta, we all offered you. What I, c- I didn't know you were that good. I am. Oh, yeah. Uh, cool. All right. I'll get you some. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's you right. have to send a video though of you using it. What sponsor me tape? Yeah, oh, good, bro. Um, I listen. I didn't send one. To sp- I sent one to Rodney Mullen. I did, denied him for the second one. I can deny you for a jump rope sponsor me tape. Well, at least give me one, and then you can never show me one again. Mm. Just like the Rodney Mullen thing. I'll just I'll show you right outside, okay. right outside <laughs> on those steps right there. I'll show you my Easy. I'll show you my jump roping. Mm-hmm. Show what uh, Charlie just did. What did Charlie just do? Oh, we're oh this is where we're, this is the. Uh... Oh, that's, uh, that's look at that. Roger, look, you look scary, bro. What's wrong? You got it. That is, yeah. That was good. That was good times. Double Dutch. Yeah, we were just in the middle of the street, hanging out, drawing happy. Got some, you got some boots on there too, Dubs. I do. You, got some you, got, you put some boots on me. Did you get the ladybug tee? <laughs> yeah, and the ladybug tee. I'm just yeah. killing it. You, get, you do have the jorts though, and the jorts are appropriate. That's right. Yeah, that's that's on brand. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the only <laughs> thing that's on brand right there in that photo. <laughs> Oh, that was good. Lady band, lady, ladybug shirt and boots. I don't know. Uh, this just came out, what, today or yesterday? Something like that. Yesterday, uh, yesterday Barney yesterday. Page, uh, Nick Garcia, Montage. Oh, this is a montage we, we put together. But uh, Land's End trailer, skateboarding uh, for suicide awareness, Bar- Barney Page. That's something separate. That is uh, something separate. Mm. Actually... It's not the... Um... That's the trailer where he actually skated across uh, England. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's blend. Okay, I see what happened. We got we got, them, we got them together right here. So this one is the... Barney Page. Yeah, Barney Page. Page and Nick Garcia video yeah. that, that Edney's just put out yeah. on Free Skate Mag, I believe. Barney Page is... I want to say he's under the radar, but man, that dude is... This guy is incredible skateboarder that mm. you see every now and then, but yeah, he writes for Soured, which shows you something that... He's uh, very unique yes. and that's a key word. And Nick Garcia too. Look at this clip right here going th- under the right. Nick is so sick, bro. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shout out to Kevin Parrott. Oh my god, finger flip. Uh, but Kevin Parrott put this video together uh, for Etnies, and mm. um, that was gnarly. I wish I saw more of these guys, man. But it's like I trip out on skaters like this because it must be hard for them to find spots. Mm-hmm. And like this is an OG spot, and you're skating it so different, you get smoked right here. Oh god! Oh, god. Damn, that's a wor- that was horrible. Worst case scenario, right there. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, but now when you, got you a car park there, shit. <laughs> you're skating OG spots differently. Like, yeah. you know, that's cool. But no, it's definitely cool. It's 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 rad to watch kind of a video part with these guys together as well. You know. Yeah, I mean, Barney, ball, ball of creativity over here. Yeah, Barney's from England. They did nolly hard flips. You don't see that trick too often anymore. With the tail slide, with wow. the ride on tail slide. Yeah. One thing I wish Etnies did mm. was make like the Etnies rap again or any like they kind of have it, but what the that hell was is, that was so gnarly. I don't. This roll on these roll on tricks have just yeah. this came up, but you're like okay, roll on tricks back in the day. You're like no, that's you're just not. Nah, you're you not allowed to do got that. Clowned. Yeah. All right, not you would have got. We, all fun and games, like messing around, cool, whatever. But then, and I mean, they're making it look very interesting by how long they're, li- ooh, you know, yeah. sliding into these things. Like, bro. Yeah. Look at that, Hubba. I was like, love that. But yes, it would have oh. got, got clown back. We got a clown for days. Mm-hmm. Look at that spot, man. Front nose. The landing looks horrible. I mean, all these spots landing. are. What, you don't like landing in cobblestone? Yeah. No. <laughs> it's tight. Cobblestone and, and down here. Cobble tech, let's go. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I love to see these guys out uh, being together in a video part. It makes sense. Yeah, it's rad. But go check it. All the videos that we talked about today are in the links and are in the description below. So go check them out. We just put together like little, uh, you know, little montages and stuff for you guys mm-hmm. to check out. Little little taste, little tasty taste, tasty cakes, tasty cakes. Yeah. But it's good stuff, man. You guys ever had those tasty cakes? Yeah. 
That's Philly thing, right? Is it a Philly yep. thing? It yeah, is. That's yes. Philly thing. Yeah. Then we got the. Uh, this is the one that I was talking about. Lands End trailer skateboarding for suicide awareness. Barney Page skated across. Um, or England. Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's so impressive, bro. Those are the wheels that you need to go on a skate mission like that. You you, you need you the need softest wheels possible to the, make it easier on your legs. The bro. biggest, so, softest wheels. This this one was a four hundred. Uh, excuse me, nine hundred and forty-one mile route from John O'Groats to Lands End in memory of his friend Ben Ramers, ra raising funds for the Ben Ramers foundation suicide prevention mental health charity that has been up set up in ben's name so shout out to barney page for doing this doing Amazing. that and filming video parts that's killing it man that's how you do it it was funny too seeing him skate uh there's got to be a point where he was skating switch right there he's pushing switch yeah you're gonna you're gonna get tired yeah we had <laughs> talked about um chad caruso, chad caruso yeah. the other week about doing it a lot of people in the comments, too, were like, get him on the show, get him on the show, get him on the show. Eh, we might have him on the show. Yeah, we might have him on the show. Yeah. yeah. He's a good dude. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's that Forrest Gump stuff. But you, how, how many people have been doing stuff like this? I just felt like skating. <laughs> it's like you hear, like, I mean. Yo, uh, just try to skate five miles. No, it's insane. It's crazy. Well, good, Ghost good. Skate Day is coming up, and people do that. We're like, oh, we're skating from here to, to wherever it is. That's <laughs> gnarly. I mean, you're also skating like your normal right. board. Sure. You're not skating some, like, big wheels or anything. So, but shout out to Barney Page. Doing his thing out there for the Ben Ramers Foundation. Loving it. Loving it. Love it. We were talking about... Um, Another another collab that came out recently, just just uh, actually it's launching this Friday, June fifteenth. Oh shit! Which is today in the it UK, US, in the EU. It's a launching Saturday, June seventeenth in Japan and China. Palace and Drawers Clothing. We were talking about that earlier. How they're doing the OGs, so OG crazy, companies, bro. man. Paying homage to it, and I Big I time. actually do love. We were that. anarchy. We oh were, my god! We were against the grain. We were like. Gotta it's cool they had Kareem like, Campbell. You know what I mean? now yeah. About it. Are uh, when I watch stuff like this, I'm like, Kareem Campbell was at the Santa Monica, West LA Courthouse. Where, where was I? Yeah. And why wasn't he sitting in that chair? Like, what happened I right know, there? Right? What, where, did, where did we go wrong? What happened? Was he just in town for a day to do something <laughs> like this? Like, that's where my mind goes. I'm like, why did I not know about this? Bruh. It's crazy. I, yeah, I mean, it was fashion. You gotta realize, like, when I first was starting, like, at our time when we were kind of more baggy i would say you know what i mean but it was just like that was us because you know we want to skate we want to be expand our legs we want to do all of that and then it was fashionable you know what i mean then he went to like the skinny jeans and all of that you know what i mean like it wasn't really true fashion fashion you know what i mean like i had to change out of skate wear to go out you know what i mean so it's just like now it's like now nah, i could just wear what i want to wear you know what i mean it was like it was fashion yeah i'm still in it i'm still i'm still all day every day i got the foundation i got a skate park he looks I'm so young forever. still dude I mean, it's I'm crazy like, bro so he doesn't like, age I mean, to me now it's beautiful i mean i think it's like it transitions itself into it being acknowledged as somewhat of a sport you know what i mean it's still going to be a culture we're always going to be a culture culture first yeah, it's um is it just me though or I for drawers I kind of think of Rob Deerdick totally. for drawers. Yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. more than I do Cream Campbell. Right. To yeah. a certain degree. Right. But I do you know, he was on the But using him as a spokesperson for sure. is definitely, you know, yeah. 100%. Well, <laughs> what, what the hell is this guy for? <laughs> You know what I mean? Because <laughs> uh, he because he said that quite a bit. Oh, oh you know I mean? he did say you know that. I mean? Yeah, he did say that. Okay, I want. Yeah, I was like, I want to see in the, there. I want to see the. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> I want to see the collection here because the last one they did with with uh, aesthetics was so really good dope, for sure. Um, and I was when I saw the screen or the thumbnail, yeah. it had like the palace. Um, drawers thing but it had like the the city stars mm -hmm. i was like wait the what, chain, is what is this this one right here yeah, yeah i was yeah. like what is going on here this yeah. isn't this is wild and then uh it was just cream still has that so rock yeah. oh yeah dope. damn and they this, got some baggies bro 
Yeah. Remember they brought back. back drawers like a couple years ago? They did a little, they brought it back and see how it went, and then it kind of went back away. Mm, but it didn't work? Yeah. Well, it's, I don't know. Cl- bringing back clothing companies is tough. It's it's tough. Stone Dash or yeah. something. What These, appropriate time, though. It seems like this is like, you know, I mean, baggy clothes are back to a degree here, so. Those, the, the pants look like, yeah, exactly like they were back in the day. Mm-hmm. Those hats are dope. Uh, JC, bring up those uh, old drawers ads. There was one with uh, Deer Dick with the paint, paint all over him. Yeah. yeah, it was like iconic, man. They had uh, the skate ads were good too. Like Dill had like a front crook to fake in his ledge Long Beach. Mm. And, like, Alfonso? Alfonso, what did he have? Look it up. I don't, I don't remember Alfonso on there for some reason. Was that like early, early on? Wasn't he like, it's wasn't like, he like holding some like titties or something? Oh, that might be the case. It might be. But we talked about that, I think, with him. This we? was the uh, this was the, oh, this the, the ad early, Ronnie Bertino. right? No, that's Deer Dick. In the left. Oh, on the left. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I don't know if we could find, the, but that was an ad actually. Oh yeah, they were on the brand uh, Alphanumeric, bro. Oh, Alphanumeric. Yeah, I think about him. I think about Kareem yeah. with Alphanumeric yeah. a bunch, right? Yeah, exactly. They were like sitting in like the uh, the classroom. Mm-hmm. Remember when they had those ads? Yep. That was actually a dope ad. Yeah. I want to know. I don't know if we could even figure this one out. How many collabs has Palace had? How many does Supreme have? I mean, these yeah. are, both, these, these, <laughs> those guys are two they great do a, questions. They I do just a think collab every week. I think I, I feel like Palace does. Cr- a collab every week. Mm-hmm. I feel but, like they do have a lot of collabs. I just I would love to know how many they've had. Yeah. To me, they've had the best collabs when it comes to respecting what came before them and gave them inspiration, like the aesthetics oh, yeah, and the drawers, sure. yeah. and them going and doing a freaking whatever Gucci. Totally. Like, uh, and what other company do you know in the world that has done that? Right. No, they there's definitely, not been one company in the world. No, even with Supreme, like they don't go back and and, and and collaborate with like a girl or something like that, or even a pal or something that's been yeah. around like like legacies before them. They have not done that, or yeah. at least I'm, at least I can't think of it in the moment. But but yes. at least girl and pal are like still around. But mm-hmm. like these are these they're doing something with stuff that or, or that aren't around this, no more. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. They know their 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 history. Totally. They're celebrating the history right. of. of why they're even in business right yeah yeah exactly they're they're giving yeah they're they're yeah showing my york love and every they show all you guys love they're like big time like, i mean i just got a box from them big up dude <laughs> straight up from palace yeah but i would i i had a what's a oh you, you're bored what about board they must he have said you seen were, it. you know yeah, i'm sorry like, bro i think you know. if anyone's gonna get cola okay guest model boards of all three of us <laughs> jerron's getting it dude I, I mean, I, that we maybe, maybe that might be the case, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm mad joking. now. I'm, I'm mad. joking. I'm, I'm mad. joking. I'm mad. No, shout out to them, bro. We would love to get them. You know what? They would be great to get on here, too. Oh, for bro. sure. For sure. The founders of Palace would be a great It'd conversation. It would be an interesting bro. conversation. Straight oh up. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'd love that. Because they are very, no, they have knowledge. They yeah. have knowledge of skateboard skateboarding top to bottom. Mm-hmm. And, and when they do, like uh, Aaron Howard's pointed out the palace and calvin klein like Mm -hmm. they're doing these some some of them are like serious but not serious Mm -hmm. and they make you like oh my gosh can't believe they did that that's like it looks so cool it almost brings like the the other brand into their world yeah right Mm -hmm. based on like the the marketing behind it and that's a those meetings Hey, we're Palace, the skateboard brand. We want to collaborate. I'm with sure Palace. they're like, like, oh, we've heard of you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've heard of you guys. One thousand percent. Yeah, and mm-hmm. we're down. Yeah, we're, we're ready. What are you? You can hit you the youth. Do? Yeah, we're down. <laughs> the, ready when you are. Mm-hmm. I do like the Palace collabs they do with like the shoe brands. Like I saw the one they do with Reebok. New Balance. Mm-hmm. With, they do with Reebok. Reebok too. Reebok, yeah, like I'm, every, every shoe brand. Yeah, I'm surprised that Reebok hasn't stepped into the skate game. Have done like. Actually, not every shoe brand. I'm sorry. Like they they did it a while back, like a ways back. But they have some classic silhouettes that I would just love to see skaters in. For sure. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm surprised they really have it. I know they did the DGK Reebok thing. That was a long time ago. Um, but they haven't came back ever since. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like I almost feel like you know I got a box from them. Great. Like, but 
I almost feel some sort of way just because, but they have evolved beyond just a skateboard brand. Oh, yeah. They are an actually fashion house brand now, you know, mm-hmm. and it comes from skateboarding. But, dude, like, obviously I skate for girl, but I'm like, if you see me out wearing a Palace sweatshirt, no, I don't skate for Palace, you know what I'm saying? But I respect what they have done, and I would, I, I like to wear things that I like. So, you know. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Listen, if you don't want that, I'll just I'll take it. Just bring it over. I would love I'll to wear see that Chris shit no in, easy. in Palace, dude. bro. We were just talking about. That. I get no, but this is like I got. This I box never like get two, to. I got this box like two, three weeks ago. What were so you this, say, before, Chris? this is before we talked about it. What were you gonna say, Chris? <laughs> I said, I quit. <laughs> all it takes, Chris. You of all people here, it would be the easiest to get a box if you reached out. I I, I can concur on that. Yeah. Yes. Chris is the number one dude. What? I'm gonna wa- I'm gonna go on Palace's Instagram and be like, "Let me get a box." They're not. They're like, "Nope." Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna get denied. Well, dude, you know people there. Like somehow, there's gonna be connections. Hey, you know, Jerron knows the guy there. <laughs> you, you have the connections. I, you always say these things, and I'm like, "You." I didn't cold call them. Obviously, I didn't be like, well, or you know, like hit them on Instagram like randomly, like. There's we already be- have some of a, of, of a rapport. Yeah. And again, I'm very fond of their shit. So I'm not shy. I used to be shy enough to be like, you know, I, I don't want to put myself out there like that. I don't want to, you know. But nowadays I'm like, dude, like closed mouth don't get fed in that sense of like, look, I'm in this situation where, you know, people know me. Why not <laughs> take advantage of it to a degree, especially if I like the stuff? I'm going to support it. You know, I'm going to wear it. I'm going to post it. Like it's a win win for, I think, both parties. Okay. I think, but Chris, we're going to try to get you a box. Get, we're going to get you a box. We're going to get you a couple boxes. Listen, it's all fun and games, guys. Let's all Don't, pray for Chris get, to yeah. get a box, dude. Let's <laughs> all Let's pray, pause and say a prayer. Pray for- <laughs> <laughs> Everyone go on Palace's Instagram, but let's get Chris a box. Use the little prayer emojis. Please, <laughs> no, please. Dude, no. oh. They're going to send me one shirt that's like out of the packaging, too. It's dude, out of plastic. Don't. Let's pray, pray for Chris. <laughs> oh. We got to... Um, I have to... Talk about giving praise where praise is due. I got to, got to, got to, got to shout out to Reese G and Goddess Graphics. I see Goddess Graphics in the chat right now. They did this animation. Listen, the yes. Switchfoot Manny will never die. You know what I yeah. mean? God, I wish it would. I'm just no, kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You can see yourself out, but you can see yourself out of the door. Kidding, I'm just kidding. Uh, but they did this is such an amazing thing. Then thank you so much. I saw this and it was amazing. Reese G is doing rad stuff um, and Goddess Graphics as well. Definitely. I mean, look at the, the coloring on this is so insane. It is so awesome. good. Did they? Yeah. I wonder if they get the audio. Did, did they just have to the audio from so, another clip? Yeah, it was this clip right here. I don't know if you've seen it before. <laughs> But See, there's always uh, music to that one, though, dude. So I, it had the raw cli- the raw sound to it. I don't know. It's easy to get clips. Uh, guess, sound cl- uh, they hit up Ty Evans for the, for the library. Of, of oh, the throw the sound in yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. But here's these little animation process and everything. It was cool. It was cool. I, I, I'm... I, I get flattered, you know. I get humbled when I when I see stuff like that. It's got the, the belt also. The studded belt. Yeah, we love belt. that. You know, well, I dude. trip out on this. How do you make a cartoon? Like our animation like this. Yeah. Hey, Reese G, you're doing a great job. I've seen he's getting like noticed. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Big time as he should. Well, he right? did the Nija uh, oh, intro. Yeah. Yep. For he did with uh, Adidas. Yep. Carl sent him. He did a little thing with Carl Watson. What? Yeah. Reese, you got to. Listen, we, we we put you on the map. We made you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to. <laughs> yeah, right. We want a piece nah, of this. Dude. We want a piece. No, he did the work. no, no, no. We, we're going to get a piece of this. He did that all on his own, G, dude. Bro. We're stoked for you, Reese. Good nah, job, for bro. Sure, for sure. I, all the, dude, all the much success. He, It's rat. Oh, here it is right here. Whoops. Nope. Yeah, let's watch this one more time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, if you forgot. I want to, he did the animation of um, Jamie Thomas talking about, oh, here's the Carl Watson mm-hmm. and Reese G. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he does Pretty cool. So rad. That was, bro, that took Reese about 20 minutes. Maybe. I hope yeah. you got paid. For that, my man. He did. But he did the video of Jamie Thomas doing the uh, leap of faith. Mm-hmm. Yeah. On on our uh, TikTok, Nine Club TikTok, go follow it. Uh, yeah, the Nine Club. Is it just the Nine Club show? Or I can't remember what it is. Just the Nine Club. The Nine Club. Yeah. Um, oh, it's like two million views. Oh, it went nuts. Can't it went nuts. Love it. Yeah, Jamie Thomas when he came here, he's like, oh yeah, my son told me I was viral on TikTok today. 
I was like, <laughs> he's your like, cartoon was yeah, viral yeah. today. I was like, he's the kids at school were talking about it. I was like, wow, I know that's but amazing. Rishi, you do a great job, and uh, Goddess Graphics, you're you're a legend already because yeah. you've been a part of this crew for what 51 months 51 yeah, no. months nine club gold we got us graphics you. we definitely appreciate you what a good collab amazing, right there amazing and guys i was just kidding i did get a box from palace you know what i'm saying <laughs> there he I is. get a box See? I, I modeled for them for their website but they yeah. didn't use it dubs they uh, didn't use okay they oh. used a different model but i was there you know they flew me out there what a good time so I they love it so they they shot with you and they're like no nah, we're gonna get the other person to do it yeah I don't know what happened, you know, sometimes when you get, when you do a movie or something, like sometimes your scene gets, gets cut out, you know, yeah. I don't know, maybe they had somebody. What are you wearing was... on your head right there? It's a. It looks like a tortilla. It almost looks like a pancake. It looks like half of a bowling ball. It, it looks like a tortilla <laughs> and a pancake as a bowling ball. <laughs> How fun. I'm just yeah. dressed up in their gear. They dress me up. They did, I did my thing, you know. What shoes are you wearing right there? Uh, Skechers. Oh. <laughs> What stance are you doing right there? It's it's the you know it's, it's universal, the universal like it's power um, pose. It's, it's, That's uh, a pose. That's it's a like pose. put your feet out straight, turn one <laughs> over to about four three o'clock, turn the other one. <laughs> oh, it's bit. good. Hey, it could. It's kind of a pita hat too. Uh, yeah. V J Hall. It looks like a pita. It's a pita. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, like an actual pita that you yeah. eat. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. You you know you open it up and you just put it on top of your head. All right, dude. Listen, I'm pita. I'm sick of this. <laughs> Just criticizing my your kit, but I mean that's kid, what it, it looked like. So I was just wondering. <sighs> but you looked good in there. I tried them. Yeah, I tried. I, tried. Bro. I was bummed that they didn't use it on their site. But you know, listen. Next time, yeah, you should post it. Put, where's my box? Dang. <laughs> that's a good one. Right there. Trolling palace for a box. Where's my box? <laughs> Why not? That's the, one of the best things in skating is just like the whole aspect of getting a box. Right. That, oh man. Being a team manager, did you see Vern? Yeah, uh, listen to Vern. Yeah, did you see Vern's post? Yeah. I died laughing. Did you see, can Ooh. you pull that up, uh, JC? Look at uh, Vern Laird's. Uh, I mean, he posts a lot. You might have to dig a minute. It's just a solid text that he put as a post. And it's uh, so good. It is so good because I'm like, oh man. Uh, it's just like being a team manager, the amount of people they hit you up for. And I get it. It's just a part of it. It, it is. Yeah. But it's really funny, dude. Can I like somebody's <laughs> post on Instagram without somebody asking That's for so it? That's so good, dude. That's so good. I love that. I mean, it, dude, it it's funny, though, because like Vern, that's like the position you're in, though. Yeah. It's like a celebrity, dude. Yeah. Like you, unfortunately, like you signed up for that job. And unfortunately, yeah. people are going to be talking to you out in public they're going to be asking you for a there come over here yeah. let me take your yeah. photo you and know? not everybody has etiquette you know oh, they didn't no. hear your like your breakdown on when you should hit him up you know they, they didn't get that that memo so yeah i i feel for you being in that he situation knows that too you know I, <laughs> hey yeah. when i can i give some can we give some etiquette to people that are out there trying to look for a box yeah, I think you should too, because you you're in that. Well, you kind of yeah, you're still in that placement. Too. No, I still send shoes to yeah, a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, people still. Hit, I don't work at Mob anymore. I stopped working there January first of this year, so I could come here and work more nine club stuff. And, yeah. Um, and I just it was overwhelming. I still get hit up by people uh, almost every day asking for grip tape, Crazy. and and that's and that's good. I would do it. You know, it was just a little overwhelming for me, um, knowing that I wanted to work here with you guys more and then all the other stuff. But hit them. With email, do not text unless you're like really close with this team manager. Right. But like, hit him nine to five. W email anytime. Uh, Vern didn't like the email thing late at night because he, he gets notified. I'm like, dude, turn that off. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's needed to get off. But just don't try to small talk. If you need your box, be like, hey, dude, is it cool if I get this? Give a list of what you want, what you would like, your address, your full address. <laughs> do not put 521 Johnson Street. And then, you and then guess. that's it. <laughs> Don't do that. You'd be surprised. And to say what size, like what style and what size you would like. Mm -hmm. You want skew numbers? You know that what? That would be actually Give dope. A, I would imagine. Skew number is great. And uh, the pro yeah, exactly. Every detail that you would need like that. So, so when you ask Palace, dude. <laughs> I'm just going to say. <laughs> Chris Roberts. Nine Club. Send me a box. Yeah, yeah. Nine Large. Club. <laughs> Large. <laughs> this it's a uh... five two one Johnson Street. 
No city. You you yeah. should already know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, man. You know where I you know where I, you know where I'm at. You know I, where you know where I lay my head at. I did that today on a. <laughs> <laughs> but you'd be surprised how many times like I did that today and I'm just like what's the address? You know, like you yeah. ask you know, it's like it's 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 all it's good. It's a lot, dude. It's, it's all lot. good. And these are just things that team managers go through. Yes. Yeah. So I'm not complaining, just trying to help people so we can make the process go smoother. <laughs> but I, I love doing it. Can you hit the game? <laughs> yeah. Moving right along. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eddie's, what's up? We see you in the YouTube chat over there. We appreciate you guys. How y'all's doing over there? Y'all good over there? Y'all mm-hmm. good right now? Mm-hmm. Ch- uh, Twitch, Log Jam's over there. The contestant, SFO Yogi, Citizen Fish is hanging out. We see y'all, Smelly Cat Paws. That's right. That's right. Log Jam. All right. Hey, over on YouTube, Little Heirloom, Samuel, Mike Crook, Ducky Fucky. How'd you get away with that? Username. Adney's all good. Skateboarding is the best invention ever. Yes, sir. Chili P, we see you over there. Um, on a more serious note, and this is awesome. I was so stoked to see this. Um, this is a groundbreaking for the Tyree Nichols Skate Park. Mm. If you remember, in 2023, January 7th, Tyree Nichols is a 29-year-old. He was beaten by police officers in Memphis, Tennessee. He died three days later. They better go to jail, bro. Right? Yeah. So this past weekend, community leaders, elected officials, and loved ones of the late Tyree Nichols gathered for the ribbon-cutting ceremony of a Sacramento, California skate park, which has been named and redesigned in Nichols' honor. Located within the Regency Community Park, the Tyree Nichols Skate Park was Nichols' local skate park when he was growing up in Sacramento. There, he found the community, forged lasting relationships, and nurtured his lifelong love of skateboarding. This last Sunday's event was an extremely powerful celebration of Tyree's life and the lasting impact this skate park will have on the community of Sacramento. Visit TyreeSkatePartMemorial.com to support this project in any and another uh, support this project and another in Memphis, Tennessee being built in Tyree's honor as well. So shout out to these guys. Boom. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. They put his name embedded in the ground. People dropping in at the same time. That looks fun too. That's the type of coral pipes I like to skate. Little small ones like that that have no transition, no transitions whatsoever. It's pretty much flat. Yep. Corner tubes. Yeah, yeah tubes. quarter tubes, yeah. Little tubes. Uh, the looks- sidebar, dude, like they should charge everybody that was involved in that. I'm sorry. I need to say that mm-hmm. just real quick because it seems like they're only charging the, the black officers. And I, I don't like to see that shit, especially if they're all participating in the same degree. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to chime in on that one. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we have to do shout out because it's also, this was a skate park project formerly known as the Tony Hawk foundation. So they had a lot to do with this, uh, which is awesome. There's Alec Beck right there. Major, Alec major guy Beck. down there. He, he, he's a, he's a reason why there's a lot of skate parks out there, uh, working with the, uh, skate park project. So shout out. It's rad to see. So Definitely. shout out to the city of Sacramento for doing this for Tyree Nichols, putting his name there in the concrete and everything. So it's, it's incredible, man. Is that, the, yeah, man. is that a real board they made, too? You, uh, you see, if you go back to the last photo. Let's see, where, where, where? It looked like a... Oh, Ty, it looks like real. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, Jim Thebo is yeah. all about this. Yeah, for sure. That's so cool. So, shout out Tyree, man. Man. Rest in yeah, peace. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, uh, Sacramento, for doing this. It's yeah. cool that you can get together and make I mean, they, right they remodeled it. It looks great. Yeah, yeah they did a good sure, job. the skaters are so hyped, dude. Like, yeah. It's kind of like that thing we are talking about earlier, how like the Montreal had that like that shitty park. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're, they're, I don't know, this is a great thing. I like the colorway, too, that they selected, yeah. too. Mm-hmm. It's a good colorway. You a lot know, of like, the skate parks out here are like yellow. Yeah, exactly. They got yellow trim on it. Yeah. Let's switch it up a little bit. Yeah. yeah, because yellow makes it seem like you, you can't skate because everything that... Even the the little things on the ground, you know, that prevents you from going downstairs. Oh, yeah. They're yellow, right? True. And it's a loading, loading zone. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. We, don't, we don't really... We like the red curbs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Might as well paint that red. Paint everything red. Uh, <laughs> nah, good color. Good park. So, yeah. Good Shout colors. out. 
City of Sacramento. Love, yes. Love that. Love that ribbon cutting ceremony. That was this weekend. All right, listen, we're going to wrap this up. We've had a, we've had a little, listen, there's been a skateboarding, a little overload. It's a, so lot. a lot of skateboarding. A lot. But a couple more things that's worth mentioning. Uh, one more thing. Um, the SLS was just this uh, last weekend. It was mm-hmm. the select series. So it was one person was going to get into the, um, the actual street leagues. Yes. And uh, Damo, Dominic? Our boy Damo took it, bro. Took it, man. I, I had the pleasure of sitting in for Kelly's absence when he went to Japan. And that was a really cool experience, you know, because, uh, you know, you, being a judge is not the easiest thing because obviously you can get ridiculed to a, to a degree based on, you know, what you're, you're judging these guys on. But overall, it was a success. Everybody had a great time. The dudes that entered the contest are... Some of the guys you're you're not you know used to seeing in contest, but everybody did a great job, man. And you know, I think um, hopefully I could get another you know chance to sit in when somebody's gone because I had a good time, man. Well, that's a good thing, right? We need like some uh, alternates to come in if someone can't make it, right? For sure. Um, and how are we, so you had a good time doing that? Yeah, it that's was awesome. It was awesome. I got coached by Big Cat a little bit. He helped me along in the process. Yeah. Um, but overall, Ooh. everybody from Jimmy. Kelly, I mean, not Kelly, but uh, Mike, Mike Moe and um, mm-hmm. Billy. And Billy, it was uh, very fun to do, bro. Yeah, but oh. Damo killed it. Yeah. And I was stoked to see Johnny doing well. Johnny killed it. TJ. As well. Yeah. Um, I, I loved the, I think it was the last trick where he front side flip nose grinded down the hubba. Yes. And he had some Ellingtonness in him where he was like doing the flaunting yeah, when yeah. he landed. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, it kind of brought me back. That was pretty cool. It was tough because that was like his last try. So he just, yeah. you know, he handled it. I think a I think a big highlight of this too was like uh, just seeing Antoine Dixon there. Oh man! Because he's doing you know he's he's been on a tear lately. He's just killing his Instagram. Just footage. I mean, yeah, you know he's he's on it right. He's now. on it. He's yeah. on it. I think I think he was nervous. He though. was a little he nervous. Doesn't, I, he doesn't do this type of shit. No, he's not a contest skater. It was know? really rad though when they announced his name. Like he was like praise everybody in that building it was they just lit up and just you know gave him his dues and it was really rad man and you know unfortunately i think the last trick he um tried he ended up bailing and the board popped up and hit him in the face he had to get a quick little little uh glue stitch yeah Um, we we got that here too somewhere we'll we'll find it here but he's a man straight up i'm so proud to see what he's doing man i i I saw the girl that is. Uh, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't remember her name. This stuff. is it right here. Oh, Bam. oh my that was gosh. so good. That, that bounced off of his face. face. Yeah. I didn't realize that at first. Ooh. Like how fast that happened. That's crazy. Oh, no. The corner of his truck. Yeah, got him. Man. Oh. Uh, but he was okay. He was like skating the next day. He had little butterfly bandages yeah. on there, yeah. and he was, he was out there skating. Oh, man. Well, but yeah, he's, yeah. regardless what it is, I, I'm just stoked to see him back out on his board. Yeah. Just it's, killing the game, but also participating in this type of stuff, yeah. too. It's like it's kind of out of his comfort zone. I For would sure. Think, you know, but well, I think he's just taking on all challenges right now, man, which is really rad to see straight up. Sure. I can't wait to see what else is, is coming. That's for sure. Yeah. I wanted uh, the we got. Uh, uh, yes. Here we go. Liz. Liz Akama. Liz Akama. I was, she was a winner. They were doing Bennett grinds and Bro, stuff like that. Not no, 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 barley grinds, sorry. Ned. Barley grinds. Yeah. Like one of your nose grinds. Front she was grinds. handling her business, bro. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I was uh I was just out in uh in Japan <clears throat> and yeah, they're 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 on some next level. The level of skating is yeah. very very competitive. Like they're ready. Yeah, they are very ready and mm-hmm. they are consistent. Yeah. <laughs> this is my first time of hearing of her. It's like it's wow, from Big Spin over the pyramid. Big chilling. I think we're in the throes of hearing of these kids for the first time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when I was at the mono a mono, it's a lot of girls that i had never heard of before yeah that are just absolutely killing it and now i'm like huge fans you know yeah. what do you know i mean dude. dude handling it yeah they are 
there we're there, it, we're seeing something right now it's and, I, one, and I'm, I'm here for it i'm loving yes, every minute of it yeah it's one thing though too it's like to just do these tricks like you see it in the street maybe like and it tried it took them like hours to do it they're doing it chilling yeah like yep. they get one try yep and you land it that's it's ridiculous mm-hmm. but i'm uh marcos bro. dude marcos killed it yeah. bro i mean yeah this is like an opportunity for all these guys they would never be in contests really yeah so it's giving him this good platform, and it's like it's it's not like so serious. No, right. not at all. They, they they a lot of them felt like comfortable to a degree. Um, some of them get to skate the park, so they're already kind of familiar with the you know. True, true. This dude, dude Cordano Russell. Cordano's he is, went up that thing, bro. Yo, watch out for this kid. He, this this. <sighs> no, he's powerful, bro. He's no joke. I think he 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 had like a, a he could have gone to like a. a to play football mm-hmm. in like for a scholarship or something like that. I heard that. But he just took, I'm going to go skate. And he's like dumb smart. Like, yeah. <laughs> how, that makes sense, right? Yeah. And then like there was a clip of him skating there the other day and like they were playing, you know, you always play basketball there. Mm-hmm. He just runs up and dunks. <laughs> you know? <laughs> he got it like that. He's an athlete. I don't oh. have too many homies that we would skate there with that could just go dunk the ball there. Mm. No. Yeah, he's a full blown athlete, bro. Yeah. Love to see it. Yeah. And that's time for Cordano Russell. Jeez. And just some of his tricks that he does, like they're not the, like the normal, and he makes it look very easy. Did he do the Nolly the 360 show yeah, thing? Yeah, board slide? Yeah. I'm like, that that's is, like one of his little go-to, you could tell. But that is the randomest, scariest. It is. Like, Especially his foot placement, bro. His front foot is almost damn near like straight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? That's how you do it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't, and it's funny, too, how you, like, no one does that trick. So you mm-hmm. usually develop tricks, like, by seeing other people doing them. Yeah. But, like, no, I just do my own. I'm just, that, that. Yeah. Yep. And no one's doing that. it except for him. He's straight up. Yeah. So that was cool. Yeah. Congrats to Damo. Yeah. And Liz. Dude. And Liz. Stuck to see both of them go through to Japan. Yeah. I'm sure Domo, that's probably going to be his first time going to Japan. I would assume. I don't know for sure. Either way. How you feeling, Chris? Good, man. We could be going for an hour, two hours and a half. Oh, we're, we're going to go for... We're done a 24-hour stream, by the way. Did we mention that? 24-hour stream. Yeah, we'll be so here all get night. get some popcorn. Get some low-fat yogurt, whatever. Yeah, all that. 2%? Yeah, two, 2%. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're good. We're good. You know what? I had a budget, budget or buttery plan today. We're going to save it for next week. Save it for next week. Save, save it for next week. Anticipation. Um, but also, go on our Discord, budget or buttery. Ask Jerron anything. What do you want to know that Jerron thinks is budget or buttery? Come we're going to go guys. through them all. We started it back up again, so we need to... We need some ammo. We need some ammo. Yes. So we're going to... We're running, we're running a bit uh, long today. We're going to save the budget or buttery for next episode. Yes. But uh, I want to thank everybody for joining us. Thank you guys so much. Dubs, always a pleasure. You, Kelly, always hey, a pleasure. Thank you, thank guys. you. You, already know. you already know. Yep. Uh, the, the gentleman in the back, Raj, always holding it down. Thank you, brother. Yeah. And JC, thank you. The Googler, Fingers of Fury over there. Not to mention he takes amazing photos. He takes he's, takes all the BTS stuff here when we have guests over. And Multi-talented. Post them on our Instagram and all that stuff. So thank you, JC, for everything you do, bro. Thank you, guys. Yes. Also, it's the first time I've heard JC in months. Yeah. <laughs> He's always just quiet. Just yeah, you got to speak up a little bit more, JC. We'd love to hear from you, man. Also, thank you so much to Charlie, our yes. guy Charlie over here. Man. Hey, Charlie. Always doing it up with the funny, well, they're real pictures. Yes. He just uploads it for us. Yeah, so we're... we're we... He's good at manipulating photos. That's right. That's right. But uh, yes, thank you everybody in the chat. Thank you everybody on YouTube. Thank you everybody on Twitch. Go find us on both platforms. If you're on Twitch, go find us on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, go find us on Twitch. And uh, we'll see you all next week. Thursday nights, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be there. We love you all. Thanks for joining. Much love. And happy happy Father's Day to everyone on on Sunday. That's right. That's right. No more 15 more minutes. Smelly Cat Pals wants 15 more minutes. No, we're out of here. (laughs) See you guys later. Peace.